continue the dungeon crawling. You find yourselves in the depths of the old world's ruins, the forgotten tunnels and holds of an old civilization that once ruled where Alinthi is now, in search of a massive soul crystal of an ancient and quite very likely unstable Warforged unit, as theorized by Sergi, uh, the dragon and head inventor of Politrios. Around you is death and decay, abandoned living quarters, bones and debris, caved in caverns and monstrous creatures that now call it home. You've also discovered old destroyed Warforged that upon closer investigation seem like fabrications that would fool the layman. At your immediate area are the remains of a previous battle with a couple of bone whelks and, and cave fissures, and straight ahead seems to be some of the regrowing crystals local to the Politrios area. Uh, highly valued and a large part of the economy, and a regular resource thanks to Querencia, the life tree. And flanking the deposits on either side, a path deeper into the ruins to the left, and another cave in to the right. Let's do it. Can we, can what we, can we do you break do? a bit of this off? Can I was thinking I we could stand to grab some of that crystal. Yeah, I want some of the shiny. Give me the <laughs> shiny. No, I mean, we're, we are perpetually broke, so like having money would be nice. <laughs> Fuck, do you realize what you've done? Uh, I don't. You, what do you smashed mean? in this succulent morsel with no care or consideration for the meat inside. Do you know how valuable <laughs> these things are? Are you referring to the the cave fisher? Yes, eat this. I, I'm not going to do that. What? Yo, are you handing me the, the corpse? Yeah, I'm like the... uh, cracking oh, off like right. a part you of boys claw. Fun. I'm handing it to him. <laughs> um, you know, my parents used to make my parents used to make like a rope from the the spit that these things would shoot at you. I don't know how to eat, do that. Do Do you eat this raw? Yes. Can I like incite? it down. <laughs> oh, I'm watching. So word is himself e eating. It? Yes, absolutely. The ravenously, one might say. I guess I'll take a gamble and I'll. I'll uh... <laughs> You're eating <laughs> I'll... raw cave fisher. <laughs> yes. Word How did we get told. here, guys? Is that, is that what you're doing, Word? <laughs> we just started. <laughs> yeah, we actually discussed <laughs> it at the end of the We're so last bad. Game. Ah, I see. Uh, okay. Uh, is cave fisher something you've had before? Yes. yes. Uh, rarely. It's a delicacy. Oh yeah. Okay. You did a you did a nature check, didn't you, or something like that? Yeah. That's what I recall. Yeah. Mm. It's supposed to be sort of like a crab or lobster soaked in wine. That's right. I, I do remember that now. Yes. Yes. I am gobbling. You're gobbling it I'm... uncooked. So, word. <laughs> I'll since, eat a little bit too. Since you've had it before, I'm gonna need a Constitution saving throw with advantage. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Okay, you oh, gobble it down. Boy. Could use some seasoning. It's a little bitter from from the environment, but a delicacy nonetheless. Bach could give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, I'm assuming not with advantage. Not with advantage. This is the first time you've ever tried this. Uh, It doesn't appear to be work. Did it okay. go on? Okay. Oh, plus five. <laughs> Woo. It is a bit bitter, but do you think with the right seasoning, this could make for a nice little hearty meal? Mmm. It's not exactly what I expected, but it's pretty good. I, <clears throat> I, I swallow hard. I, I think maybe we should... I, I'm not going to eat any more of this. I'm going to go help our friends. <laughs> you do feel as though that with a weaker stomach, the thing could possibly make a re-entrance out of your mouth. Oh, jeez. No. Yeah, so I'm good for right now. <laughs> so, so Lair and Fritz, money? you guys are looking at these crystals. Yes, the crystals sought after by yeah. many many a mage and alchemist and inventor for its yes. high conductivity and magic. Now, mining these things is no easy task, as uh, if it were easy, everybody would do it. These things are lodged in there very, very strongly and tightly, and pulling them out is going to require some manner of either finesse or brute strength. How do you want to go about it? I'm curious what Mold Earth does here, but we don't need to do that. We can try Brute Force. <laughs> you can certainly try Mold Earth. Okay, yeah, why not? It's a cantrip. I can do this as many times as I want. <laughs> Whee! Yes, so Mold Earth, you are able to dig kind of around the crystals, but they seem to be lodged in a harder, kind of thicker, more tightly dense piece of rock that goes a little bit deeper down. Hmm. It's almost like a, like a different mineral deposit. Very cool. 
Well, we could try to break a piece off. Do a little brute force. We could. could. Do a little brute force. If it's a combined we effort, I, I. The risk of breaking one of my javelins that I barely ever use. Could I use my javelin to help out? Can I, like, yeah, chip I'll at it? say. If Lyra wants to make an athletics check with uh, advantage due to the help action Ooh. from Fritz. Wait, this counts as an athletics? Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, uh, of the two of us, <laughs> which of us should be trying that? Uh, uh, I mean, do you think yourself as a bit of an athletic person? No. <laughs> okay, can I do that? All right. Uh, I will provide the help action. Yeah, Fritz. You can, instead of using a javelin, how about you borrow my dagger, <laughs> which I don't you sure? ever use. I don't want to break it. I barely use the thing. It's fine. All right. All right. Fritz and Lair, uh, with Lair's help in leverage in some way, or just, I don't know, in wh however way, way you wish to assist. Fritz, Moral you may support. roll me an athletics check with advantage. Whoa! Ooh. Oh! Wow! That's a strong. That's a <laughs> crit right there, that is. So you find the perfect spot where it is with your keen eyes and senses and aim, and you just like jam the dagger in at just the right angle in order to pop up an entire flawless piece of Polytrios crystal. You can add that to your oh, inventory. You can yeah. flawless crystal okay. you can add. How do I uh, inventory, how do I spell Polytrios again? Uh, ah. You can just say crystal instead. Flawless yeah. crystal. Flawless crystal. crystal. Or you can say uh, flawless magic crystal in case we come across some gems or something. Okay. Ooh. And uh, we'll say Just this deposit is done. Yay! Cool. Okay. That well, went better than expected. Yeah, that was very impressive. Possibly the um, highest quality you could get without hiring an actual like miner to come dig it out for oh. you or prospect or whatever. <laughs> Um, We're gonna be rich boys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice change of pace. Uh, I might try to clear up this rock slide I'm by just the uh, same way I've been doing before with the little mold earth, little shifting stuff around. Okay, um, so. Just open this up. You clear out, you push aside the loose rocks with your mold earth and, and uh, the gravel, and you get a bursting stench. And notice Ooh. that uh -oh. trapped behind the debris, that there are. Stinky. Whoops. Big, big stinkers. Uh-oh, stinky. Oh. You, there are Ooh. quite a few poor, unfortunate souls uh, <laughs> that were who whose attempts to escape were in vain, as well as a few more mineral crystals and broken down warforged. Mm. These idiots probably didn't have magic that could move dirt. Are these real broken down warforged or more fakes? Uh, I would say with the previous information from Fritz investigating, they are fakes as well. This place Very is convincing. So weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover my nose. I'm just like, this stinks. <laughs> yes, this is deeply unpleasant. I'm going to move mm. away from this as much as I can. Mm. I don't see anything of note in here unless we wanted to try and get more of this uh yes, these we crystals. Do. Oh, okay, okay, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Hold on. Fuck. Uh the the dragon said that his friends are in here. Do you know if there's any belongings on that might be of sentiment? Uh, to these, I guess I can rummage through the if you're corpses. Could stomach it. To... <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, let me just. Interesting. All right, so look, if you wish, you can roll me an investigation to rummage sure. through the long decayed bones. <laughs> sure. Whether it to be to find things or to Oops. discern if they might be his friends. Is that a minus one? <laughs> It most certainly uh, is. It would be. It would be. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, I should probably. It would help. be. Ooh, can uh. I? Can I also? Uh, while I'm here, while we're in this room, just can I use my magic awareness feat? You most uh, certainly can. May I see Ooh. it? Yes. Let me. How do I? Uh, did that share? There we go. Awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. You know the location of any spell or magic item within sixty feet of you that isn't behind total cover. Okay, um, yes. Let's see, what school of magic would this be? You do oh notice Oh gosh, something. dang. Alliteration, man. So, you know that there is <laughs> something right here. Uh, let me ping mm -hmm. it right over here next to this uh -huh. uh, crystal deposit. Ooh. And it is a divination spell 
Hmm. I will approach. Oh, no. I've connected let, some dots. <laughs> let me approach and... I think there's something over here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, <laughs> Standing on the crystal trying to pry it off. Because that's What'd something we saw last time. Somebody walked over a little magic circle that briefly flared and then disappeared. Yes. And yes. just the same... Uh, I'm just going to move you so I can show it. Just the oh, same, sorry. you see a magical sigil uh, appear uh, as you get close to it. Hmm. Hmm. And word, you're gonna try and pop off a piece of crystal, yeah? Yeah, I'm like standing on it, prying with my whole body. <laughs> uh, give I'm me an athletics off. check from you. Okay. Da -da -da. Yeah! yeah. That's a crit. Yeah. We That's are a crit. good as hell <laughs> at getting crit. these crystals out. That is going to be another flawless magic crystal. Well done. Dang! Come on. We pry it out almost effortlessly. Uh, I would like to go up and investigate this chest. Okay. From about 10 feet away, if I can take a <laughs> From quick look first. From 10 feet away. <laughs> uh, as in, like, rolling an investigation, yeah? I would like to... I've seen a couple of these bite word before. <laughs> I would like to try and investigate first. Yeah, give me an investigation. Roger that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's what I like to see. <laughs> all right. It's hard to tell, really, what with all the muck and grime that it's sitting in this kind of knee-high water. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, well. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Another snake. La, da, 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 da. <laughs> but yes, uh, Buck, when you see that sigil, do you step on it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you, when you step on it, you see that the sigil dims a little bit. That's all it does. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, there's a, um... Oh, no. There's like a sigil. Yeah, like the uh, one in the other room. Uh, hmm. yeah. It's it's kind of dimming when I stand on it. Look. Is stand. it past all the corpses? Yeah, uh, yes, absolutely. All right, best of luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Try opening the chest. Okay. <laughs> so you open the chest. I do. And er, inside, Yay. it is completely safe. Ha <laughs> ha! And you find. Powers of investigation are brilliant. You find 15 gold pieces. Nice. And where did I put that? And an orb of direction. Orb of oh, direction? Yes. Hell yeah. And I'll put the link because it is an official item. I'll put the link in general so that you can have it. An official gimme, item. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And you see that there's a little kind of glimmering necklace of some kind. You find Ooh. a guardian emblem. Guardian emblem. Oh. oh, okay. So the orb of direction is a compass. That's cool. Yeah, it's basically um, a compass. But orb of direction sounds cooler. Does sound very cool. <laughs> uh, and, and the guardian comment. emblem, you can see that it is a kind of uh, holy locket. It seems to be depicting the goddess Sephira, the mother dragon. Hot dang. Mm. Uh, can dang. I add that to my inventory as well? Because I just found it with the search. You most um, certainly can. Thank you. <laughs> that, that guardian emblem is cool. As that heck. is, yes. Um, and it looks like it would be pretty useful to anybody. Yeah. Uh, it's not too specific to, like, tanks or anything. So that's pretty cool. All right. And I'll add that 15 gold. I mean, I'm going to split the 15 gold up with everybody. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that later. Yeah. All right. Um, Can I attempt to like uh, look through the bodies to find sentiments? Because I'm guessing these are probably people from here, and I kind of want to return something to the families. Yeah, mm. you can give me an investigation as well. Okay. Okay, rummaging through these Ooh, remains, yeah. <laughs> you see that these were some kind of prospectors of some kind. You can see old, rusted, and rotten pickaxes and hammers and various mining equipment. You can see that their pockets are kind of filled with old uh, magic crystals that have since kind of lost their conductivity long, mm -hmm. long ago. Uh, it doesn't seem like these bodies were recent at all. Uh, well, whoever okay. they are, they must have been here maybe a decade or so. Okay, um, that might not be our our, our friends. Yeah, friends. that's that's not our friends' friends, at least. Poor souls. Um, I don't like being in the room alone. With the, <laughs> symbols, so I'm with the spooky right. divination magic. Uh, Why? Want... <laughs> do we do we, do we want to keep exploring or investigate the situable thing? 
Well, we can try. Uh, I, I think... I, <clears throat> I think I'm just a little bit concerned if we... I don't want to be snuck up on kind of like the way we were with the bone whelk situation. I'd like to maybe explore a little bit further. Mm. I mean, do any of us know what that little sigil is, what it means? I don't. Mm, I nope. don't know. All you know Actually, is that it's some kind of divination, which, um... Uh, divination. That does yeah, narrow it down yeah, significantly. Yeah. yeah, so divination is the so it's pro- magic of... It is a, a set sigil, <laughs> which means it's, like, it inscribes something specific. I have a plus three to Arcana. Can I try and decipher it? Yes, mm-hmm. you can. Okay. I'm surprised That's... I have that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Fail. Well, uh... Divination helps it's... you sense and also talk to bears, so... It's some kind of bear magic. Hmm. Is it weird that I use my own school of magic song to remember what each school does? <laughs> bear magic hmm. sounds wrong, but I don't know enough about bear magic to Wait, disprove fuck. it. It's <laughs> not bear magic. Sixty. Buck, what are you? Okay, never mind. What do you mean? I'm. Wait, what was the, what was the... check? Okay. <laughs> are you like a type of bear? I uh, no, I'm like a I'm a bug bear. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you getting at? It's not, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Maybe that. it's something that they use to like sense you specifically. Do that you have be... local enemies? Um, that I'm aware of? We were coming of? here like at least 10 minutes ahead of time. I don't think so. No. Okay. I'm, but I'm not, we've been accosted by several enemies that I think are just our enemies because we're the pilgrims, so I, I don't... I, I'm not going to rule it out, but I don't think so. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll watch you back. Uh, I appreciate that word. <laughs> I'm just going to move and check out this <laughs> this way a little bit. Okay, as you head down the left side of the cavern, hmm. you can see another pool where cloudy, murky water sits. And Mm. on the other side, what looks to be a magical seal of some kind, blocking the path any further. Uh, Oh. (sighs) When you said magical seal, I was picturing. (laughs) (laughs) We briefly lived in a much more beautiful world. (laughs) It's me, the magical seal. (laughs) There's certainly uh, something. I'm worried... I realize I walked into the water last time without consulting anybody, and we got attacked. Can anyone see anything in the water? Yeah, I can got we, this. Can we throw a rock, rock into the water, maybe? You must I'll certainly do can. one better. <laughs> I, I, I want to use okay, my mage hand ledgerman to grab this little bone and then just fish around the water and see if I tap any of this. <laughs> yes. Okay. You grab the bone. Unfortunately, I can't pick individual bones, so I'll just move the whole oh, thing. Yeah. You move it around, <laughs> fishing okay. it around. Uh, and just as before with the other rooms, you can see when it gets close to right here, you can see that there is a magical sigil on the floor. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I Wait, we're if being I. Observed. It, does it activate if I just put the bone on top of it? When you put the bone on top of it, it does not activate, unfortunately. Okay. But it does become visible when there's something nearby. Yes. Interesting. Okay. And standing on the previous one seems to have affected Dim, them somewhere. Yes, it, it dims yeah, its dimmed kind it. of arcane light a little bit whenever Dim- uh, Buck was standing on it. Can Did I try? It it's a long shot. This is not my kind of magic. Can I try some kind of like arcana or investigation or whatever? Um, <laughs> to, on, a, uh, on a chance. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Joe, did it undim when I stepped oh. off of it? Yes, it undimmed. Uh, it lightened back undimmed. up. Back up. Okay, so uh, getting uh, the information uh, from Buck, these sigils are divination, which means they're magic of senses and stuff like that. It senses when right. someone is near it. This magic sigil, uh, the seal that, from what you can tell, is not divination, whatever it is. Mm. But they do seem to be connected in some way, perhaps. Yeah, right. I have a mastermind theory. What is it? I, I assume you're all ready to hear it. Okay, so right, how many right. of these sigils are there? Because I think we got to stand on them individually. We found three. But it seems like in each place that they're at, there's a bunch of bones, which means when we trigger that, we probably open the door and then something else happens. Like, 
uh, big rock falls where all the bones come together. So maybe if we have, I think I have a rope here, we could like tie up all the fake guys and all the bones together and then stand on them. Because I don't want to fight bones without you guys. Oh, I see. Hmm. Um. It would make sense if the sigils are some sort of unlocking mechanism for this seal, although... Do we Maybe we have this? to stand on them with our bare feet, nah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have, like elbow bucks, like. <laughs> oh, I heel. get it. Thank, thank you. Word. I understood the joke. Um, well, do we want to try stepping on more than one at the same time and see if it affects anything any differently? Uh, yeah. It's not, not my not, favorite not idea, it. but it's... not it for the pile of bodies. <laughs> so I also I will, not it for the pile there, of bodies. There's one all the way in the back. I, I will really reveal the rest of them to you, since you guys, the I rest assume, of them. would look for them yeah, all. We found yeah. a couple of them. Right. Yeah. Um, I'll so head my way over. I'll, I'll go to the one that's all the way Ooh. at the beginning. And the last oh, one. I was already on my way there. You was by no. this <laughs> dead bone whelk over here. They try to race you. I like this. Wait, no. I'll take the other one. Oh, I see. Right down there. Which, okay. yeah, which one do you <laughs> running want to all over the place? <laughs> okay. You like, couldn't make your mind up. <laughs> so, the two of you stand on those sigils, kind of further, uh, closer to the entrance of the cave. And Buck and Lyra, when you observed the seal, you can see that the kind of circular uh, in, uh, kind of markings on them vanish each time one person stands on them. Hmm. Hmm. Almost uh, like it's being unlocked. All right, I'll Ooh. take this one. Okay, mm -hmm. you stand right. on it. The third circle yep. goes away. And Buck, you stand on the final one. And Lyra, you see the seal vanishes. <gasps> Yay! However, <puzzle>. oh. however. <laughs> each one of you stands atop a magical rune. And mm -hmm. uh -huh. once the seal blocking the way vanishes, each rune that the pil each pilgrim is standing upon just then... The bones around you start to shake and rumble. Why oh, did I tell you about the bones? He said, oh, he said to wrap them and the form them. up them. into hideous creatures that attack oh, you. I'm gonna need everyone dang. to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, Huzzah. there's a lot of bones by me, huh? There's you're all fools <laughs> in me, especially. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, let me roll initiative. Oh, oh that's not bad. Uh, let's see these oh. three because they were moved around. Boop. These three. Boop. Oh. And these three. Ew, yucky. What are these yucky little guys? Okay, I will put their name in. Oh, once no. I oh we split the party initiative. real bad. <laughs> yeah, oh, like this was our, our idea. <laughs> <laughs> it was my idea to move the ball. <laughs> yeah, I that's feel true. a little bad because I did prepare to spell magic as one of my two third level spells today, but I Ooh, didn't want to waste to spell it. Magic. <laughs> It also uh, might not work on this if the seal is higher than fourth level. Oh yeah. Uh, let me just. I have a spell of scroll of destroy magic. I think. Oh, I have spell scroll great. in my inventory of second level. Uh, is that dispel man? I don't remember. So. I think it is. Let's see, just uh, pulling up their stat sheet because apparently I accidentally closed it. Here we go. Boop. Uh, Word and Lyra, who wants to go first between you two since you rolled the same number? I think Word has a higher dex than I do. It oh, would be difficult yeah, not three. to. <laughs> up to your choice. Okay. I, I leave it up to player choice. No, no, it's all good. Okay. All right, Word will go first. And yes, you now face oh a small, uh, decently sized group of witherlings, decrepit undead created by necromancers as sentries for nefarious purposes. Ugh. First all up, right. Buck at the bottom right. What do you do? Buck up first? Or oh, rather, word, the sorry. Just went. Word. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. more sense. I, I read ah, the wrong okay. name. <laughs> That's right. a masterful plan where I disengage and run away. <laughs> 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 disengage and run away. Genius. Uh, and then, because uh, that was my bonus action, I'll d oh, I can move 30. Leaving the witherlings uh, still forming, oh. trying to catch up to you. <laughs> yeah. Five, ten. <laughs> Wait, no. I need to save Buck. <laughs> Wait, no. Just don't get... Just pull the prince now. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. All right. That's my turn. Okay. I'm running. Uh, next is Lyra. Um, yes. Uh, I am going to... 
we shouldn't keep the party split. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use Misty Step, which oh. I get for free. Heck yeah. And I'm just going to, um, where, come on. It's uh, what, 30 feet? Okay. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, form up, everybody. <laughs> All right, that was my bonus action. Yep. And it, I mean, I, it's like, it, it is a spell, but it's from the Fate Touch thing. I guess I can't also cast another spell. That's a good this... question, because it's a, yeah. it's more of a, like, a feature. I don't know. Hmm. Uh... You know what? Because it's, a, 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 like, a feature that you got, I'm gonna I'm say it sounds more fun that you can still cast a spell because you didn't actually cast this. It's more like a, a thing that you can do. It's just do. a thing I can do, yeah. yeah. It just so happens Got to him. be in the form of functionally a spell. Yes. Uh, it could also wild shape, which is an action and also not a spell. Um, but I think I am actually going to start trying to pick some of these guys off. So let's do Moonbeam. Moonbeam. I'm going to cast that uh, on basically the 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 this the fella just north of where I was just at. Okay. Um, I don't know how to signal it. This one. Um, uh, that guy. Moonbeam's concentration, right? I believe uh, so. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I can. I can I, it mean, it, it stays up, and I can move it around. Um, ah, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, a... concentration up to one minute. All right. Let's see. And uh, if they make the save, they take half, yeah? I think that's correct. Okay. Uh, this moonbeam crashes down through, um, like almost through the rocky ceiling and blasts this thing. And it's already looking pretty roughed up. This thing is barely holding together. Good sign. <laughs> All right, that was my uh, bonus action and my action. And I don't really need to move. That would be redundant. So we're good. All right, Fritz. Hello, Layra. Uh... Hello. Okay. Uh, okay. I only have 30 feet of movement. Everyone, to buck. Uh, all right. Um, so, for my... I guess my normal movement is 30. So, to this square. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Now, do keep Misty in mind, step. if you move out of the melee range of those witherlings, they do have half attack of opportunity on you. Oh, I didn't realize they were fully formed yet. Um, no, I was that, just saying, uh, yeah, with the with the word thing, I was just flavoring of, like, how he's okay. able to move. Okay, then, um, if I... This is me being a bit weird with phrasing, and I just wanted to double check. Does teleporting count as... <laughs> jumping out of that do they still get that yeah moment? They, do they, they, they do so not they get attack of opportunity if you teleport out like if misty step that yeah. Layra did yeah so can <laughs> i do my misty step and then run oh do you know misty step as well yes i know oh misty step. all right great yeah you Mine's can fade touched oh. ability Dang. I'm misty yeah. Step. yeah so which gives me 30 feet 30 yes We're you just vanish as well today. Uh, and then I'm also going to leg it for another 30 feet because that's mm -hmm. my full, my full, I'm, <laughs> I am running. <laughs> Great minds, think alike. Uh, and then where am I at this point in time? I don't really think I have eyesight on anyone, do I? Uh, do, 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 I think you could use your action to dash if you wanted. So you I just don't close have the distance. dash. No, no like, dash I think is just anyone... a thing you can do. Anyone can take the dash oh, uh, action, but some classes dash can take you? a bonus action uh, dash. Uh, another full of your movement. Yeah, so you can move another oh. 30 if you so wish. Yes, please. Am I allowed to dash and sacrifice my action? Yes, that is yeah, how that's, it works. Yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I was just double checking. Yeah. Pew! Hi! Wow, our Avengers back-to-back -back spinning circle moment. <laughs> so, next are the Witherlings' turns. The ones that you just vanished, Word and Fritz and Lyra just <laughs> ran away from completely. You hear... Hey, they're moaning and <laughs> creaking and, and screeching, echoing through the halls of the Blech. cave as they start to run to chase you down. Kind of stumbling. You can hear them clattering and stumbling, kind of scratching on the walls and screeching. <laughs> They're not necessarily the fastest things, but they are on their way. Uh-huh. There. 
comes running towards you, straight towards you without a second thought. This one actually does reach you, Lyra, and it's going to take a claw oh, at you. Rude. And it swipes and misses. You can see oh. as it swipes as well, its arm just kind of falls apart just from how decrepit this thing is. Ugh. And this one is also going to be able to get in melee range. This is also going to swipe you. And this one is going to hit. And you're okay. going to take, uh, let's see, five slashing damage. Ouch. And you can see as well, when the second one swipes, you notice a very peculiar thing. That as it gets closer to the other witherling, you can see that its claw seems to glow ever so dimly. As if its swipe was ever so slightly stronger when it was nearby the other one. Strange. Hmm. And these are all going to gang up on Buck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Boop. Yeah, that's what they do. Okay. One of them misses. Two of them hit. Nice. First one nice. is going to deal. You can see that their talons are kind of glowing ever so dimly in the darkness, almost lighting up mm -hmm. the place cool. as well as they swipe at you all nearby each other. You're going to take okay. seven slashing damage. And then the second one is going to deal ten slashing damage on you. Ooh. Crit. Dang. And they okay. are just ganging up on you, screeching, clattering. Now it's your Let turn. Let me just Mark. hit me with a bop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, boy. No. Um, oh, no. He's still ganged up. <laughs> let me do a thing. Let me let me get a little bit of a rage in here. <laughs> uh, I want right. to see what... It's always... I always can... I can never find the... I can never remember which one of these is the right button to press for this. Okay. Ah. A little shield. Ooh. Ooh, Wild Surge That's 7. Good. Flowers and vines temporarily grow around you until your rage ends. The ground within 15 feet of you is difficult to rain for your enemies. All right. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, while raging, harder. I am going to... I'm going to do two attacks. I want to do... Since I think these guys are going to hit me anyway. Uh, I am going to do a reckless attack. Um, and I will start with the one that's... Uh, I guess this one above me. Okay, okay. Let's see that attack with advantage. Oh. Okay, it doesn't matter. Even if you crit on this thing, you smack it in one hit. Just poof, you hear the clattering and crunching of bones. And that's 10 damage in total anyway. Uh, okay, all right. I will hit the other one, and I will actually do it with advantage this time. Okay. Ooh. Unfortunately, 12 is not just not enough. A swing and a miss clatters into the the wall. Just poof, knock a little bit okay, of Okay, I off. think... I think what I still want to do is risk being attacked. Um, okay, there's two of them. I understand. Okay. Uh, I will... Can I make it... I still think I want to make it to uh, over here, which is, I think, as far as I can get. Uh, no, I don't have a ton of health left. Ah, uh, but then... If they only move 30 uh, feet around uh, and there's 15 feet of difficult terrain around you, if you're not I know, right next gonna... to them, they won't be able to reach you. I know, but they're... Yeah, he uh, did just reckless attack, they, which means they will have advantage, they get advantage on their advantage. Yeah. That said, you are raging. They're going to so have that anyway. They're, they're going to they're gonna have that anyway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, try and attack. Okay, their attacks of opportunity. Just rolling them. I need to be closer to the healers anyway. They're going to get to attack me and be an advantage okay. the next time anyway, so, so I think I'd rather be further away. Both swipes are going to hit. The first one sure. is going to be five reduced to two. And okay. the second one is also going to be five reduced to two. You take four total damage. That was Still up. Okay. Yeah, okay. I am. Uh, How do I... Can I make a... Um, Let me see here. Can I make an aura of 15 feet around me? Is that how much it is? Uh, if you select the token there. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Nice I stuff. figured it out. Thanks, man. Love that. Hmm? Word. So it's difficult terrain around me in yeah. that. Is. Back to the top. All right. I'm going to scooch on over here. Got and vines on, let me make that. Up. That's I'm not Lara. visible to everybody. Let me make <laughs> it visible. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There we go. See. There we go. Ooh. So that is the area of which that is difficult to rain to enemies, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, can wow. they not see the? Can they not see the? No, they can thing? now. Uh, thing? Oh, okay. But yes, word. You go up into yes. that little corner. What do you do? I scooted for half cover, and I'm going to just launch a an arrow from my short bow. Ooh, all right. 
uh, <laughs> and uh, well, and miss sadly, like it, it lodges it, yeah. dings off of the rocky no, no. cavern wall. Um, I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll try and within this wedging, if I can hide from maybe like these enemies, I guess. <laughs> yeah, those uh, specifically well, that you tried to fire at. Yeah. Uh, or... No, I, I was trying to shoot at these guys, right. but I'll, I'll try and hide from. Um... Oh, from those guys. Okay, give me a stealth check. Or, You're gonna. No, I've got, I've got friends between me and them. Sorry. Okay. So I will agree with Meat you shields. and hide from. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the ones who I don't so have. So your cunning between. action stealth. I will roll their perception <laughs> checks to see if they see you. Oh, my rolls are bad. killing it. Lara. It being me. Yes. Um. So I think. I can hold concentration on a spell and cast a spell that isn't concentration, mm -hmm, right? Correct. That's a that's a thing I can do. Uh, Great. Yes. Okay. Let me just make sure I've got the the right shape for this, because this is a 15 foot cube, and I think that gets all three of these boys. So I would like to cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. All right. So Thunder that wave. is okay. a DC 14 con save, uh, and that's seven damage which will have to three if they see. Oh my God, you blast all of them as their bones just like are Whoa. thrown against the wall, clattering and echoing throughout the Fantastic. entire cave. Uh, did that get all three of them? All three of them, AOE for the win. Ooh. Cool, because they would have been pushed back 10 feet if they still survived. <laughs> yeah, their, their bones blast just like the bones. fly back, back into nice. the pool of whence they came. Great, and as my bonus action, I would like to use Bomb of the Summer Court and uh, fire off 2d6 to uh, Buck. So that's one Thank you. and two. So that's seven more hit points. Thank Ooh. you. I've only got one of those left in me, but we're good. Also, I think I, we forgot to do a concentration check for your Moonbeam. Oh, yes, sorry. You were hit uh, once, yeah. It was very awesome. low damage, so you just need to make 10. I have made 10. We're good. Nice. All right. Uh, and I'm happy where I'm at, so we're good. Okay, awesome. Uh, <sighs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, there we go. I was like, did you? Uh, it took a little while for roll 20 to actually show Yeah, I, I briefly got yeah. the little uh, red, like, your connection was interrupted, Strange. but we're good. Anyway, Fritz, mm. your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to be jumping over to here to book. Hello. <laughs> I learned how to do it now with the ruler. I'm so smart. Nice. Uh, I'm instantly, Dang. without a shadow of the doubt, casting protection from good and evil on you. Woohoo! Um, which I think, I don't know yeah, if this is undead. Uh, but it yeah, pro protect it against you. undead, yeah. These are for sure undead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, I'm not going to assume, okay? Yeah, disadvantage <laughs> on attack rolls so, against the target. Can't. Assuming you're going to be our main guy. Oh, um, also... I'm the main guy. Do I have sightline? I do! All right. And as a... Damn, I never really killed all those, those bad bulls. It doesn't really I've only got a few more of those in me. Okay, I'm going to... Can't imagine um, there's anything else. <laughs> I'm also going to use my... I can still attack. I have an extra action right because no I'm... no you can spend no. one action to do multiple attacks or this thing which is it takes oh, the okay. full action then uh can i ready uh my bonus action for next turn uh i i mean you can use a bonus action next turn if you're if you mean ready a yeah, reaction sorry, I'm, I'm getting confused yeah. yeah if you mean ready um... a reaction that i i personally rule that as like spending your action to ready it um Oh, okay. Mm. Sorry, I'm I'm still getting used to That's the okay. like it can be confusing spells sometimes. and stuff works. Yeah. Um, I think that is me done then. Okay. Yeah. If you have any like healing potions or items or something, it might be worth. Oh, actually, yes. Can I throw an item to you, Buck? Um. I would say you can I... do that as a bonus I... action. Yeah. Yes, I want to throw. Can I ping I have... in the chat? It's in my inventory. Uh, the potion of hill giant strength to you. Ooh. Ooh, I don't need the know if we will need that for this. These things get on pretty. I want it I, on you because you're the one that's probably going to use enough. it the most. And okay. I just in case something goes wrong. Uh, that's going to make you okay. very strong. <laughs> so is that are you having him consume Essentially that, or are you just to giving I'm it to I'm him? I'm just giving so it to him. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that works. Let me delete that from my inventory. Okay. You you never know if he gets dangerous. <laughs> there you go. 
That is All right, true. and then I'm done. All right, next are the Witherlings' turns. These ones are going to use their dash action, so they're going to drop on all fours and start running. Oh, uh, disgusting. There we go. Ugh, this one is well. Yuck. You can hear their clattering kind of echoing throughout the cave. And this one is actually going to stop here. It's not going to be able to go its full movement because of the difficult terrain, the vines growing all around you, but Sorry, wow. nerd. Uh, this one, as well, is also going... It has to dash to get close to Fritz. It's not going to be able to attack, though. <laughs> that was weirdly perfect. <laughs> what a nerd. It's, again, it's, it gives you a 15-foot radius of difficult terrain. If they can only move 30 feet, they have to use their dash to get yep. to you. Yeah, you've, like, slowed... Whoops. You've slowed, like, basically all of Come them. Come on, Lady Luck. Come <laughs> on. Let's go. And I'm perfectly protected, hidden between this corpse and this wall. <laughs> Word, I can and see And these you. two. Oh, shut up. So this one actually doesn't spot you, Word, and it runs right past you up to Buck. <laughs> oh, what an actually, oh right boy. They're all real close. Huh? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this one does spot you, though. And oh, shit. It is not no. fooled by your hiding. <laughs> And it's going to swipe at you. It knows a corpse you. when it sees one. Okay, luckily you are able to dodge out of the way. Yes. I'm perfect. <laughs> and next is a Baku. It is <laughs> Baku. Uh, I am going to reckless attack and try and start hitting some of these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll start with this guy closest to me. And thanks to uh, protection from good and evil, it's almost like you just get a free advantage because then uh, it's canceled out by the disadvantage. Oh, I get I get a free advantage? Oh, I see what you're saying. Because, uh, yeah, yeah so that they, would be, they have disadvantage on you attacking can, yeah. you. That's because full of protection damage. Oh, That's 19 yep, you damage. smack down this thing, a splash into the water, and it is kablooey. Uh, I'll move then where his body stood, mm -hmm. and I will hit this one that's between Lyra and Fritz. Let's see it. To. Uh, yes, that'll hit. You smash this one as well as it's screeching and getting ready to swipe its own arm at uh, Lyra or Fritz. You smack it before mm -hmm. it even gets the chance. <laughs> and uh, I think that's going to end my turn. That is going to end my turn. All right. That's gonna end my turn. Word. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to drop the bow for now and pull out both the negotiation and some standard dagger. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do <laughs> that sneak attack against the guy who hasn't realized yes, I'm there yet. Yes, you will have it at advantage since it has yeah. not noticed you. Wipe him out. He's dead. Oh, yeah, he Ooh, is dead. Baby. He's dead as oh, shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> Get that and man. Then, I'll use my standard dagger to smack the other guy okay. and miss. Yeah, you just another thrust and you try to do like the no look like thrust. <laughs> three, 360, no scope with my eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splatters <laughs> on the wall. Pings the against the wall. Batman over the shoulder punch. Mm -hmm. We can discuss this. <laughs> That's my turn. You don't want to move level. at all? <laughs> oh, wait, no, that was your, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was my bonus action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say a cunning action. No, you already... All right. Just waiting on the wings. Just waiting in the wings. All right, Lyra. So you're going to need to tell me if Moonbeam's five-foot <laughs> radius... Oh, wait, hold on. You can I move was... it, can't you? How silly. It... Yes, uh, but also, silly of me, it's a five-foot radius, not diameter. I was incorrect. So let me just draw that again. Oh, it's actually bigger. And then I would like bigger. to move it. Yeah, I, I thought it would... Five-foot oh. radius is a... Five-foot diameter would be a little bit weird, but I, <laughs> I didn't question it. Uh... I've spent so long that makes in a lot the math zone. Yes. I, don't, uh, I, don't I mean, it much. wouldn't really change anything. But so I would like to just uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can move it 60 feet, so this isn't going to be difficult. 40. Okay, that makes it easier for me to get both of these boys. Ooh, all um, right, let's see it. Yeah, the yeah, moonbeam so. travels across the cavern floor, lighting the way and kind of lighting the whole place up as it travels. And Blasting believe... into the two. Actually, it doesn't matter. Even if they make the save, they're dead. Oh! Ho, ho. As this Whoa. thing blasts down from the cave ceiling into them, carving their flesh down and their kind of bones clacking down into the water, they're dead. Gross. Awesome. Clean, All right. Well, movie's gonna stay there. It took me my action to move that. Um. 
I don't have that many bonus actions I can really do at this point. Uh, so I think I'm just going to call that my turn. All right. Fritz! All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to... Ooh. Oh, I, hold on, I did that weird. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're going for a roller coaster. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's all and over the place. This, this little fella here, um, Kachow. <laughs> Kachow, indeed. As you fire a shot from your crossbow, lands it right straight in the head, and the head just kind of knocks back, like off of it, and it flies back into the cave, just poof, falls apart. Um, nice. I get to fire again, right? Yep, you've got two attacks. Okay, cool. Per action, cool. per the action. Uh, boop. Uh, oh, I, the, I didn't make it clear. I was going for this one. Uh, next that's okay. Weird. This one goes a little bit wide and pings off of the wall, lights it a little bit on fire. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And I think, I think that's me done. Yeah. Next are the Witherlings' turns. This one, without a single thought of self-preservation, continues to book it directly towards you, Lyra. And it is going to make it there and be able to throw a swipe at you. Really? Uh, yes. Oh, that was difficult terrain. It is difficult terrain. So it makes it here, which is 15 feet, right? And oh. then in order to move here, it needs to spend oh, 10 feet. Oh, I gotcha, feet. gotcha. So that would All have right. been 25, yeah. Cool, let's go. It's going to swipe at you, and it is going to hit you. And uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't have any friends, so it's not going to do any bonus damage. So you take Aww. three slashing damage. Ouch. And this one is going to do the same thing to you, word. And it is going to land a hit, and it's going to do a measly one. I will use my reaction to have the damage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like you can do that. It hurts my wrist. <laughs> it's like, ow. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you, you block it. Hold on. Oh, no. I, Wait, what do you do? Are you going to let me fully block it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it reduces it to a minimum of one, I would think. Well. You round up. Oh. I think you round down for damage, You right? do round down for damage. and Oh. So <laughs> okay. I would say yeah. if you take one and Nail take half, it. you take zero. That's that went from being like, a, I'm going to waste my reaction go. to being actually good. <laughs> awesome. I'm Every little bit counts, baby. You parry yes. the blow. Well done. Buck. Um, I am going to... I will. I guess I will try. I have 10 feet of... Can I hit the guy from... It's 10 feet. You got bugbear arms. Bug bear arms. Just reach over the dead guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still gonna, still gonna. You're gonna reckless be again. Blind. Oh yeah. Oh, hold on. I need to roll for concentration on Moonbeam. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, you're fine. Uh, okay, you got him. Just boom, just good, smack, Moonbeam just dropped, and smash, and then. Okay, Moonbeam's have... gone. Sadly. Yeah, Moonbeam's gone. I'll get rid of it. I can come over oh, here oh. and then try to hit the other one. Yep, one smack and a second to smack. You are dishing out just as much, if not tons more damage than you're taking. You help Ooh. your little guy word out and smack that last one into the cave floor. Well done. You've defeated the Witherlings. Yeah. You've saved my life. Uh, I kind of like how none of like the defeated body. enemies are like gone. So it really drives home how many yeah. things we've killed today. <laughs> and just how many fake corpses and real corpses we found along the way. Yeah. The true friends were the fake corpses we found along the <laughs> oh, way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, take off my. But now the path things. forward is open. Great. Um, All right. I'm so gonna... I was right about everything, and you have to trust me now. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna drink my. I have a potion of healing, a greater potion of healing. I'm going to consume that. Good idea. Right. That's four d four plus. Oh, I might have accidentally rolled twice there. That's okay. You can take I'm the first go... one bring a panic dog back in whoa what the four what look at the roll on the wow that's a, the other that's one a was four one four one four. Oh, four, so one, four the one, first four. one is 60 yeah look at so that. i can do the 16 yeah yeah the, the other one was th four threes what kind of rolls are these i know right yeah you can take uh, the first 16 one. um okay yeah uh okay. okay i'm at a good spot now so I'm just, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the guardian emblem and it says requires attunement by a cleric or paladin. Uh, I'd say uh, no, no, you don't need okay, that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good. It's like, how do I, I guess we can sell it. <laughs> Make some money. Buck, you come in. 
Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to turn off my. I gotta turn off the flowers. Get these things off me. Uh, it's a common difficulty. Know. Yeah. Okay. As you guys traverse the final kind of neck of the cave, you hear a creaking and just kind of low groaning sound coming from oh, the next room. Boy. And the sound of drip, drip, dripping, like water is leaking in. That's probably fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's round the corner. Let's get this over with. Wait, I have, the an, I have an idea. Oh, then let's not. <laughs> Wait, what's the idea? <laughs> to also ruin this whole encounter. I have I don't a scroll understand. of a scroll. invisibility. I can That's... sneak inside of it and rip its heart out. You don't even have to fight it. I... Are you but... confident that you can get in and take its entire Not heart even remotely. Out? I don't even know what it looks like. Or if Fair it's enough. Or something. <laughs> Let's you look. Pop your head in and scout <laughs> it out. Closely at what it is. I'll say you can scout yeah. it out. Yeah. All right. I'll do a little stealth roll. Okay. I hope that we're all like in a Scooby Doo Sneaking stack with just like, like <laughs> yeah. peeking our heads around the corner. <laughs> so I you think peek our in. heights actually account for that. Yeah. You peek in. Fan art quickly <laughs> and you can see oh uh, oh boy that oh, uh, gross. just as sergey proposed a large old and seemingly aimless warforged unit a cadaver collector it lumbers around with various pieces of long dead adventures of the past sharp steel and esoteric artifacts anything the construct could gather to ensure its dominance over whatever wandered into its domain okay so, it's worse than we expected. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I don't really want to be the one to run up and approach that guy because he's covered in swords that I want yeah. when we're done here. Here's but... the full art as well. This is some official um, D&D art of how it looks. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, boy. They're really cool. So well, icky. I mean, they come with birds. Is it, I could, I mean, we're going to, is our goal to just kill this thing? Is that right? We need to just take its heart, I think. Mm -hmm. Those are fairly synonymous. But well, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> we can do like the Incredibles, and just <laughs> make it hit itself. <laughs> yeah, mm. have it rip its own heart out. Can I? Can I? Dr I mean, I'll hold up the potion of hill giant strike. I mean, this might be. Can I take this now? <laughs> Only if you also take this, and I hold up another potion. What? What's in the other <laughs> potion? It'll make you even stronger. <laughs> is this... I just want to be clear. Is this the plan? I'm just going to take a bunch of potions and then go <laughs> fight this thing? I don't think this is necessarily <laughs> wise. I think we've got this covered. Because if Buck is, like, super strong, and um, I think this potion says it makes it bigger. It's a potion of biggering. So oh, I'm gonna. Get, we're gonna strong. Voltron me. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then I'll climb on top and pull his hair and point him in the right direction. I mean, it's not. I look. I Let's understand. Let's table my that position. idea for when we're not fighting I, in an enclosed space with low ceilings. I understand my but position in this group. Really I'm gonna be up close and personal with this thing. I'm not opposed to drinking the potion that makes me bigger. I agree. That thing is also big. How long yeah. does the last? Uh. I, I didn't. It doesn't come with those kinds of instructions. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm okay with the idea. I think that's fun <laughs> to, to do. <laughs> um, There's something I can uh, do when. If we have the element of surprise, if nobody else is near it, but we'll. You know what? We'll deal with that later. <laughs> I'm going to drink the potion. <laughs> okay. Hooray. Can I do that? I mean, does ever is does anyone dislike that idea of what we're doing? No, I think no. maybe okay. we should have more healing before we go fight this thing, but I'm not oh, yeah, too actually. after a, I'm actually not too far away from uh Max with what after the after taking the healing potion. Oh yeah, the huge potion. Okay. There's okay. also a so short I, rest you guys could camp out for an hour. <laughs> Uh, uh, I forget, I what does short know. rest do for us? Uh, short rest would reset a couple things for me, actually. That wouldn't be the worst. you <laughs> roll a hit die. I'm okay with that. I mean, if we if we want to... We Boy, essentially that. a short rest is just like taking an hour break to recuperate, maybe rest up and recover some hit points and some class features. Uh, so it's only hit level points, five. Okay. We might have those. It's, I, we, I get one thing back. I, you, get to roll, you get to roll dice, depending on your level, to determine how much health you get back. Mm -hmm. Um... 
Like, you get five dice. We, we each have five dice a day. I think yours is a D6. I think um, a D8. You, get, you can Ranger, choose Ranger the number. Is a D8. Oh, yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. So, Are we doing that? Is that what we want to do? Do you want That's to short rest on. before this encounter? I don't see any reason why not, honestly. Yeah, yeah if we can. Like yeah, all right. Idea. You guys can short rest, and you can roll as many hit dice as you want. Your short rest features reset. All right, let me roll. Is there and like while I assume dice? you're camping out and just keeping an eye on the collector, and you can see that it is just lumbering around, occasionally well, gonna, poking you, and prodding at the crystals. I think you do. You add your con. You add your con. You do add your con. Yes. You to, so whatever your con modifier is, that's how much health points you get back. So Fritz, per... you would add plus one to that, so you'd recover eight, uh, seven hit points. Oh, okay. And you. And you can roll you as can many do... as you want, uh, as many up to your level. I'm good with that. Okay. How? It, where? Am, I guess I'm just gonna roll on here natively. I just wanna double check to make sure I'm So a short thing? rest usually just helps you with like if you have your race, some race features for it and health. Where a long rest clears your spell slots. Yep. Long. Yeah. Long rest resets all your spells. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Some some classes like, so get different I'm benefits. I'm on the right page. Yeah. Like, if I had wild shaped, I would have those back from a short if rest. The, yeah, if I've the feature been... recovers on a short rest, it will explicitly say that it does. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still asking questions. No, it's okay. This is this the first long. time we've done one, so. Mm -hmm. I'm up to max health, so I'm good. I'm one away from max health. Wow, that is a max roll. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah. He, <laughs> here's, here's what I want to do. Uh, before I, I'm ready to 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 Voltron myself, <laughs> yeah. I'm good too. I think I'm gonna get inside of your gigantic poncho and try to <laughs> okay. like hide as well. I'm hoping my clothes grow as well. It's I don't yeah, just that, have that to be suck, naked. <laughs> um, I, I think, want actually, to know mm. who made this magic trap. If it wasn't this thing, it but says the tar. It specifically says the target's weapon also grows to match its new size. I'm not sure if you're going to be naked or not. <laughs> so um, I'm going to... My poncho is my weapon. Yeah. Uh, if if I, weapon I will, does, I would say that clothing does as well. If it okay. can if it can okay. tell what your weapon is. Um, so, really okay, so poncho. I will... It's priorities. It can only make one thing bigger. But uh, Okay, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink the potion of hill giant strength. Okay. So my strength is now 21, 21 for, the next for an hour. hour. Which is so I've I've rad. I've changed that on my on my uh, I've added like a little modifier on the sh right. on my okay. sheet. I think I my hope is that that will still affect um, my actions. I think it it looks like it has. Um, I will then uh, drink the potion of enlarge. I think is what uh, yeah. word got yes. potion of. Bigger. Can you make my token bigger? <laughs> I can make your token bigger. Oh, and then you're big for three hours. Three hours. For three hours, can I not end it? I, can I end it? You can't. No, you nope. can't end it. I can't end it? <laughs> no. I, how am not. I going to get out of this place? You can get out. I the can't. hallways are wide enough. I we can can't. squeeze you. Yeah, the hallways I didn't are all wide. That, it's fine. I didn't, I I didn't know that I couldn't end it. <laughs> can, I, crawling, Buck. Can, can I also... What did you think was going to happen that you could can just have... Can I... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Just tucking I, away my scroll of enlarge reduce because I'm not wasting it on getting Buck out I, of this cave. Can I can I also eat my duelist declare for the next hour attacks on opponents <laughs> you, with no allies yes. nearby is with advantage? Yes. I have two of those. They I'm really hoping this now. is not like a secret, like, you know, we we can be friends with this enemy. Now, I've, keep I've in mind, that the the duelist duelist it's covered in corpses. The duelist declare is like if no allies are nearby. So if you want to carry word, then it's not going to benefit you. Oh, I see. I thought it was the if the enemy had it. Oh, then I then I don't want to eat it if I because I might carry word. Oh, if the enemy. Wait, how did I word this actually? Uh, uh, I deleted I it it's... out of my backpack. Uh, Hold maybe... on, I've got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I worded it uh, very deliberately because I thought uh, I attacks on an opponent with no allies nearby. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I thought that meant the so that opponent didn't have any You know what? I'm going to say if the does opponent like doesn't, that. because I, that sounds pretty vague. I should have been more clear on that. So uh, as as a thing for my mistake, I'll be like, yeah, okay, it does. He stands alone. My question is, is the eclair also bigger? <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Since, um, yeah. Where do you want me to throw you? <laughs> so are you jump? Are you jumping into my 
What I'm, are we doing I'm, here? I'm just gonna, and I climb <laughs> off your leg. I'll do a little right. stealth check. You gotta hold on, Woo! friend. Spy oh, jeez. Are you He's really in there? He's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This is, so, this is so fun. I give a thumbs up to Lara and Fritz. Well, I suppose doing, we can just take doing... a day off. <laughs> Gigantic ratatouille here. <laughs> just pull your back. You're gonna hairs. get in my hat? You, okay, you're gonna. <laughs> Alright, I'll, st I'll step forward to find the guy here. Okay. <laughs> steps are so out of balance. This is so impressive. You step forward <laughs> and the thing notices you immediately. Sure. I, I can imagine that. <laughs> and it yeah. steps our, forward. It says our itself. name is Buckward now. Sorry. And you can hear like a rumbling low hum come from inside of it. It's mm -hmm. seemingly waiting for you to make the first move. Now the Maybe question is, do I, do I chuck word at it or do <laughs> I go up and hit it? Uh, I'm going to pull out uh, the big, bigger blind. Biggest blind. Biggest blind. And <laughs> I am going to I guess just rush towards it and get here. And okay. I don't know if Bugbear Arms has <laughs> gives me fifteen feet of. Uh, I don't know. If it's like twenty feet of because of you're killings. larger size. I'm gonna say fifteen. That's okay. Good. So that's what he. Uh, that's 15. there, and that is out of range of it. So I'm gonna say you get the first hit free, and it will oh. begin initiative. Oh my gosh! All right, let's. Can I recklessly <laughs> attack it? Uh, your duelist you eclair already yet? gives you advantage. Oh, interesting. I forgot that. Let's roll. There. Remember, you also get a bonus one d four to the damage. Because oh my you gosh! Uh, so, oh, I've not, I've not raged, I've not raged yet. Yeah. But if it's gonna, I'll, 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 I'll rage after I do this. So uh, that's the, eleven. The enlarge also gives you a one d four. Okay. Oh wow! So 15, 15, big hit off the bat. Just and one. Yeah, go on. I get to move it five. I get to push it five feet back because of the crusher feet. Oh that my I have. gosh! <laughs> yeah, you just because uh, he is not more than one size larger. So you're stomping, splashing the water, and like just like that scene in uh, Pacific Rim, just slowly yes. throw big blind, <laughs> boosh as uh, <laughs> pieces of the, this warforged are thrown off, and it's pushed backwards as it's feet kind of skids across the floor carving the stone beneath it uh joe i just want to make sure this was not me surprising the creature and hitting it with an attack you were my not. first turn in combat no. okay just want to make sure you basically I just got that. a free okay. hit because you were out gotcha. of its range all right let me roll an issue oh well not a great oh, issue through. yeah i was i i think there was an issue maybe with my biggered Oof. token it, like maybe uh, you can just okay. still add a four if you want to add. Let me roll again. Yeah, I'll try rolling again. Uh, I'll selecting your token. See if it doesn't appear to be working now. There we go. Ah, dang. Yeehaw. Four. Let me. Four. Boop. For me, chief. Uh, boop. There we go. Uh, Layer of Fritz, who wants to go first among you? Let's let Fritz go first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Collector. Although I do have an idea for a thing I want to. The collector mm -hmm. is going to roll initiative as well. It is oh. slow, but it's not as slow as Buck. Right. Yeah. I don't want to judge I... a book by its cover, but it is covered in dead bodies. <laughs> I'm going to cast... Uh, not your turn yet. It, I, I meant, I meant uh, Fritz before uh, Lyra. Yeah, yeah, I was getting a bit confused. I was like, huh? Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. First up, I was like, oh, my first up is word. <laughs> All right, let's launch a secret arrow. <laughs> With yeah. advantage, because it does I not have a short. I have a shoulder-mounted oh, cannon. 24. Okay. Wah, secret arrow burst out from Buck's poncho. <laughs> can, can I actually be a little secret Gatlin gun? Can I use my bonus action to hide on Buck again? Yes, this you is can. A little too it's gonna, guys. it's gonna try. And, I'm gonna say yes because that's enough cover to try and hide, and it's gonna have to. Yeah. <laughs> it's my. Secret it's gonna try and thing. find you. But uh, as far as it knows, Buck can just fire arrows out of his chest. 
<laughs> you have so the perfect fun. opportunity I don't know. I, to like I, chest I, burst her out through the poncho. <laughs> I don't know if on your guy's screen it appears this way. On my screen, Buck and Word's names are buck perfectly word. aligned buck to word. say Buck Word. <laughs> <laughs> They've combined. They fused. <laughs> They've we Voltron. I have my secret little gun Their that crawls around me. Is now Fusion. Buck Word <laughs> to make weak PCs stronger. <laughs> This is the best episode of Olympia so far. <laughs> All right. That's my turn. Fritz, your turn. Okay, I'm a uh, cast Hail of Thorns. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to fire. All Ooh. right, yes, fire indeed. And you fire it and... Oh my gosh, 14 Hail of Thorns is so strong. You fire it and the thorns kind of lodge all over it, just just breaking off pieces and kind of chunks of the kind of dead corpses on it as well. Mm -hmm. And I get to fire again, right? You do have a second oh attack, God. yes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, you are on point hitting just every weak spot it's got. Two uh, bolts phew, phew, dart into soft softer parts of the metal. All right, nice. and that's my turn. Layra. All right, I'm just gonna scooch up a little bit so I have line of sight, and I would like to cast one of my two third level spells, Erupting Earth. Ooh. So oh my that's a God. DC 14 dex save, and if he saves, he takes half of that 23 damage. Okay. You're just destroying this guy. I feel a little <laughs> bad, but he is covered in bodies, so like, Obviously gross. Yeah. <laughs> After what we just fought, I do not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they told us this thing was dangerous enough to kill his last party. We are not taking chances. No. Mm. Okay. Well, so. Not word buck. <laughs> word buck. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is going to take. Oh. Oh, what's up? I just came to a really gruesome discuss. Like, no. Oh. oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. You f the erupting earth, uh, how's it look? It's just like, uh, just... Uh, it, uh, let me just display in VTT. <clears throat> okay. Um, a fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a 20-foot cube centered on that point. Each creature in the area must take a dexterity saving throw. Um, the ground in that area becomes difficult terrain until cleared. Okay. So it's just a big explosion. <laughs> a big explosion. From the ground. Uh... So here's what happens. As mm -hmm. it does, you can see that the ground does indeed explode and erupt underneath it. And a large crack opens up. Oh, Boosh. No. Oh. And the thing falls partway through, but kind of oh, clasps it. on. It's a monster hunter With fight. its arm just kind of like hanging on. Oh. It's like body is halfway through into this hole that now exists on the platform that it is. Hmm. Huh. And it is going to take half damage. It made that deck save? Dang. Yep. It's so big, I thought it would be lumbering, but okay. I'll take 11 bludgeoning damage. Uh, um, I, I'm okay with revealing this. It's because it's got magic resistance, which gives it uh, advantage no. on spell saving throws. Whoa. Okay, well, uh, that was my action. Uh, actually, yeah, as my bonus action, I, I could just use some uh, uh, some temp HP, so I'm going to shift uh, and I get uh, plus seven temp HP uh, and a little bit more mobility. All right. And that's my action and bonus action. And I'm curious about what's under this big guy now. Next, finally, the collector's turn. As it is trying to get pull itself there, up from this massive hole that it almost fell out of, it, from its shoulders, you can see two little cannons kind of come up and poof, poof, fire out two oh, no. things. Uh -oh. It's not fair. It stole our ID. He's got, he's got them too. <laughs> <laughs> and out from it, it actually fires out two Warforged that appear. Oh, no, that's exactly our idea. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a Lara and Fritz too. <laughs> And they are going to run forward to try and attack you, Word Buck. Oh, Buck Word. Not word Buck. And they're going to slash at your at your feet with little no. uh, sharp with steel little and crude weapons of war. All right. So one of them is going to hit. You're going to take a whopping 
Seven reduced to... Wait, actually, it's not raging. I'm not, you're not nope, raging. not raging. You're going yes. to take Dude. seven yeah. slashing damage. Okay. And it is going to pull itself up. It is no longer in the hole, but the hole is there still. Oh, I'm going to push that. And it is going to get Don't up to melee range to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Da, 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 Fuck, your turn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push... I'm gonna smirk, and then I'm gonna, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, let me rage, let me, I uh, use my last rage. The giant voice is so impressive. Thank you. Uh, last rage, this one? Oh, ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh, what does that one do? Oh, heck yeah, let me, I'll share it, but it's, uh, I, I always, I always forget which one I did. Whenever a creature hits me with an attack, oh. before my rage ends, that creature takes 1d6 force damage. Oh my wow. This is a great one to get. Lady luck, baby! <laughs> um, oh, take this! And then I'm going to take Big Bud and I'm going to, I guess, I guess just use a big blind. I'm hitting the big guy, though. All right. Um, and I get, guy. I don't have to reckless attack because, uh, oh no, he's got allies nearby. Um... Mm. So Duelist Declare doesn't necessarily work uh, against him. Not currently. Oh, screw. I'm going to use... Screw it. I'm going to attack recklessly. All right. Reckless attack. First attack. Okay. That is going to be enough. So that's going to be... So that's going to be 14 plus my 1d4. D4 for being big. Big. Uh, so additional. Ooh. So 15 in total yep. for the first you one. You smack it again and it gongs like a bell. And then, because that's my first time moving it, I do can move it five feet back. Can I move it five <laughs> feet back? You can. You can see that it like and its I'm gonna, feet skid. <laughs> I'm, and I'm gonna move. I'm trying to push this boy oh. in this hole. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm closing in with. You can this see guy. its heel just kind of skirting the edge of this hole. All right. Let me, uh, let me roll it to attack again. Ooh, yep. So. That, that's another one. Are you gonna push it again? Uh, I can't push it again. I can only push oh, it once. once per turn. Uh, okay, per turn. that is another decent uh, hit. Just bashing it in and like bending so much of its metal and pieces so that it's strewn on top itself. So that one was sixteen because my thing doesn't add the rage plus two. Oh no! Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm. Uh, it would be stronger, wouldn't it? Don't I? Hold on. How much do I add to my attack? One d four. When you're right? raging, I think it's. Uh, I oh, it oh, your rage two. is uh, plus two, right? Oh, it's my. Is it my uh, proficiency? Hold on one sec. Uh, we make a melee attack using strength. You gain a bonus to the damage roll that increases. Oh, it's it's my barbarian level. Okay. Um, I I've, I was for whatever reason I was thinking it was my strength modifier. No, that's okay. Not. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. So, so that is going to be 16? first attack was yes. Okay. Second attack was six. Sweet. All right. Yeah. Banging away and banging away yet again. This thing is definitely quite tough. It's taking quite a few hits, but you're chipping off more and more of its armor. Heck yeah. I don't know where, the war, where the other Warforged came from. That doesn't make sense. The first part of Buckward's turn is done. It is now Wordbuck's <laughs> Word turn. Buck. <laughs> Wordbuck, you are hidden from just about every enemy uh, that is here right now. <laughs> so your attack will be made out of stealth with advantage. Okay. What suspicious phrasing that was. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Wordbuck. <laughs> The other one has a better ring to it. But doo -doo 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 -doo. This big chrome air <laughs> <Yeah>. energy. <laughs> uh, okay, it is like fully my turn. Yep. I was gone for like one minute. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm pulling out negotiation and hopefully ending this. Okay. I don't. Okay. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Word. That's too much Word damage, buck. actually. Holy That's too much. Shit. The mega boss. Hold on, let me do the, the math. The mega boss. <laughs> This was the best idea we've ever had. <laughs> I don't know why it's working so well. So it's working like way too well. A tiny <laughs> little scaly arm extends out from Buck's poncho, just like the little V part where the, the two parts of the poncho kind of cross over and just ping. And you see a big, just massive crack, just almost like a like an iceberg is like cracking down the center like it's from S scrat from ice age just like cracking down <laughs> and you see the chest cavity just open up and you can see its heart right there it is a <gasps> crystal that seems a little dim hmm. or rather right. the the soul rather the soul crystal is it connected to anything it does seem to be connected with a few pipes and wires 
Okay, I'm going to make an uh, offhanded attack as my bonus action to fling my dagger in there and try and cut some of the pipes or wires. Okay, let's see it. Ooh, you ah. toss it in and, and it, it gets ding, 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 kind of rattles around in there. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to get it back by yes. <laughs> spelunking into the Warforged. I'm taking that out of my inventory now. Oops. <laughs> Fritz, <laughs> your turn. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to fire at both, use both of my actions to fire at one bolt at each. Okay. With these war forge. Da, 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 da. Pew. Pew. Okay, Ooh. so the first one, unfortunately, is blocked by the thick uh, metal armor of the war forge. The second one does hit, though, and it kind of knocks it a little bit. You hear it ring, and it turns its head to you. Oh. I'm a <laughs> Lyra. I'm st- <laughs> yeah, behind you. I, I did my turn. <laughs> Lyra. Oh, okay. Yes. Um. Hmm. Oh, all right. Uh, let's. Drat. They're not right next to each other anymore. That's very unfortunate. Um. Well, okay. Uh, let's do. Let's do an, uh, geez, let's do, uh, I'm, I'm super good at this, I promise. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, everything I have is either AoE or, like, something I already used. Uh, I'm gonna try an ice knife at the Warforge that we missed. Okay. This one? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Ooh, all right, deck save... Okay, all right. The full damage. This thing is, you can see the kind of icicles piercing into it, and it's about to fall apart. I think one more good blow could shatter it. All right, that's pretty promising. Um, all right, and that was my action, and I don't really have a bonus action that I can use, so I think that's everything I got. Okay, now it's the Collector and the Warforge's turn. Both of these are going to book it towards the back line. Buck, you have a, an attack of opportunity. Which one do you choose? <laughs> I also uh, do. Oh, wait. Word <laughs> bucks. Yes, it's word bucks. Have a turn work, to me. <laughs> uh, can I choose the one who's, uh, I guess, I, I guess I'll try to hit. I don't know who's going first between the two of us. Uh, um, I'll swipe at this guy because he would yeah, have left swipe. my. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, because your, your field of attack is wider than mine. So just do a little. Okay. Point. All right. So word, unfortunately, you are unable to reach this one as you swipe in a miss. Okay. Is it just just out of your reach. This one, Buck, you do slam into it, and it... I do 20 ching, damage. <laughs> just Sorry. Smack uh, it. 20, 22 damage. Yeah, it's like the, the pieces of Warforged armor just dig into the ground as you smack it, like like one of those things that you just push into the sand. <laughs> this one is going to make it over here, though. And it is going to try and trip you up, Lyra. You may make a... Uh, it's gonna uh, do what? It is going to try and trip you. So you can make oh, a dang. dexterity saving throw. Sure, I'm so good at these. Come on, you're like a cat, right? Uh, Yeah, you'd think that would help me. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) it goes to swipe a kind of its offhand arm kind of at your legs, but you're able to leap out of the way. Aha. And the cadaver is now going to try and do a little bit pushing of its own. So, Buck, it takes its two hands and kind of grabs on to Big Blind as it's trying to push you back. I'm going to need you to make a uh, strength saving throw with advantage since you are raging. I think it's also because I am enlarged as well. You are enlarged, so you're going to have a massive amount. Let's see how it does. No, it's not able to push you, but... Oh, yeah, you have advantage on. But it is going to do something else that is going to do that you're going to need something that you're also good at, a constitution saving throw, as it opens kind of its mandible-like jaw and a little kind of dust sprinkles out. Actually, word, Uh since you're in the area, you're going to have to make a constitution saving throw as well. No, the downside. (laughs) The plan's falling apart. (laughs) It is using paralyzing breath. Uh Oh, Oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I the word buck my, fails I'm together. Use my inspiration. Ah, oh, all right. Let's see. I inspiration. Won't let this bus stop, please. If there's a god in the sky, he'll give me a five. Lady. All Lux. right. Yeah. yeah. Word. You are fine. God's not real. Unfortunately, you are paralyzed. Yeah. 
Oh, the no! Locked up. <laughs> no! As you breathe in this kind of rusted, smoky mist, and it keeps Disgusting. you still. And uh, Buck, you're not able to do anything on your turn since you are paralyzed. Actually, what is paralyzed? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, uh, just to be oh, sure. Incapacitated. Para uh, paralyzed, uh, paralyzed, paralyzed. Incapacitated, yep. can't move or speak, automatically fail strength and dex throws, attack rolls against me have advantage. Okay. Any attack that so you can't do anything. critical attack. <laughs> it is literally the worst it's <laughs> condition. Awful. You can't do anything. <laughs> However, you will be able to make another constitution saving throw at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. well, you will sadly lose your turn. Fair Let's enough. Let's see it. Uh... I'm just looking through. Uh, 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 where's my... Pull yeah, up, pull up, pull up. Uh, come on, oh, baby. Uh, strength checks only. Yeah. Okay, you make it, so you just Yay! were <laughs> paralyzed just for a brief <laughs> moment before you <laughs> shake it off. Shake Sadly, it off. you're not going to be able to do anything else this turn, though. Word! That's fair enough. <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm definitely swapping mechs. I'm going to climb <laughs> inside of its heart. Okay, <laughs> give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> Okay, Wait, what, perfect. What are you doing? Okay, you leap <laughs> from Buck's poncho into the open chest of the Cadaver Collector Warforged. Um, would it... I don't know if I'd be able to, like, take it or rip it out or grab it. Um, I'm gonna need... An... How, how do you want me to try and, like, <laughs> how, remove the heart? How do you want to try and remove okay. the heart? This is very incredible. Uh, so give me a give me a description of the situation that Word is in. So Word, you are in kind of a fairly cramped and closed space. You're able to just fit in there, as there are pipes and gears and wires all over the place, kind of surrounding you as well as the entirety of the inside of this chassis. And right in the middle, connecting a lot of these pipes and wires, is a crystal with quite a few cracks in it and scratches. It's dimly lit, and it's right there in front of you, connected to all these bits and bobs. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to, is there any way that I'd be able to s make a stealth check? Do I think that it knows that I'm in here? Make a stealth check. I want, let's see if it okay. does know if you're in there. Come on, baby. Okay, it it's rolling good. low on its perception every single time, so it doesn't know that it's got a little no <laughs> little way. dragon man inside of it. <laughs> Word inside him. I take out my dagger and I stab at B. Okay, you all. Oh my god! god. <laughs> Absolutely no shot. You cut out the soul crystal. And while it's kind of holding on to Big Blind Buck and it's getting ready to breathe a second kind of misty breath, it stops kind of like and jitters a bit and go -go 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 just falls backwards into the hole with word yes! inside of it. Yes! No! Oh! Oh, fuck. No, no, like no, no. why are you screaming yes? What? <laughs> and, and so I knew we were going to have to go down the hole. No. I'm just glad that this is how it's happening. But what? Can, can I, as I'm falling, I... throw the heart like right here? I, uh, with one more, <laughs> actually a dexterity check since you're throwing an improvised weapon. A uh, saving throw? Uh, just or... check. Like, it's, it's like a throw. Oh, okay, flat dex. Yeah, flat dex. Okay, you throw it up, Dink. and Falls as it's right. falling, you throw it up like perfectly straight. It falls back <laughs> and just lands on you. Okay. Uh, this is only fair after all the shit we pulled in this fight. <laughs> How far am I falling? We will get I think to we'll that. We'll find out. Oh no! <laughs> Fritz, you have a Warforge right next to you that is trying to attack your friend Lyra. Uh, how fucking dare it? <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> you know what? I haven't gotten to do this in a. Oh, I did not mean to move. Uh, it's within. It's within melee rage, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's right next. I, to I kind of. I just wanna. You know, I just wanna try it. I haven't done it in a while. Whoa! They are not to be fucked with. Talons. All right. All right. Come on, talons. Rawr. Um, so you slash at it and ping off a little bit. I'm just angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then I'll, I'll crossbow it. I come to my senses. Okay, so I... you are using a ranged <laughs> weapon at melee range. It is going to be at disadvantage. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh, well, it's fine. If you want, you can you can talent again, like retcon it to be like talent again, if you prefer. Uh, No, I messed up. I'll let myself okay, mess up. Okay, well, then let's fine. roll the crossbow again, see if uh, you miss actually, because it's at disadvantage. So we will see <laughs> if you actually miss. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. You crit miss. Let's yep. let see. Roll for severity. Okay, it's not too bad. Ping. You fire it off. It whizzes by Buck. 
<laughs> but you're fine. I feel it's like good. it's important uh, to question if any of us know that we're just fell down the hole. Oh, I do. Well, I, I saw steps. that's up to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll let you decide. I think the what's your guys' passive perception? I think I would feel him come not high up enough. From me. <laughs> oh no. Goodbye. <laughs> it's like the thing is, would you feel when a bug got off of your skin? Word is, I think I would know if I was no longer Buck Word. If I was not Word Buck, <laughs> I'd know anymore. it in my soul. I feel soul. like half of your identity was missing. My heart of hearts. Layra, you're. I turn. just like it, like, oh. like we leave and we're like we lost Word, and they're like, oh no, what happened? It's like we just can't find him. <laughs> he, I don't know. He must have left. Don't tell me. It must have been. Is the he wind. dead? No, probably not. We just can't find I him. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my melee attack options are rather limited. Um. Oh, I could always try with that. No, what am I doing? I want to cast more spells. Dang it. Um, yeah, let's do... Uh... Oh, I guess Ice Knife is ranged also. Um, it's, a, it's a saving throw, though, right? Or is it, a, is it a spell attack? It's a ranged spell attack. Oh, okay. uh, Frostbite, however, is mm. uh, it's a con save. And it's a cantrip, so I can do it as much as I want. Oh, Why not? Nice. Okay. All right. Frost I know they're pretty good at these, but you know. Okay, it is pretty good at that. So your frostbite is just gonna not do much as you blast kind of some cold air into it and just shakes it off completely. Oh, good. I love this. Uh, okay. Well, because it's a cantrip, it doesn't do half on save, yeah? Uh, let me check. I thought it might. Uh, no, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, it doesn't do half yeah, on just save. Just wanted to make sure. But. Yeah, um, okay. Then for my bonus action, I'm going to wild shape into a panther. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Try and trip me now, bitch. <laughs> Four legs, twice the stability. So it is going to take a swipe with its crude sword that it has on you, Leyra. It's going to take two swipes. All right, my uh, AC is now 12, oh, I think. That's... Unless that's... But, uh, I don't actually know if this if Wild Shape retains my... Actually, no, that's better than my actual AC. It is better, ever so slightly. It's not going to matter, though, because it hits you twice. Okay, cool. <laughs> As this, the rusty sword swipes at you twice. And you are going to take eight slashing damage. Okay, that's all right. I'm still a panther. <laughs> I Just still barely. Fuck, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna jump in the hole. You're gonna oh jump God. in the hole. <laughs> I assume I can fit in the hole. Yes, the if the can cadaver fit the can hole. fit in the hole, you can too. I trust. I trust Lara and Fritz to take care of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna say for the time to, being, if that's what you're doing, then the combat is gonna come down to Fritz and Lara with the last. Come on, push. guys, you can do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Fritz. Uh... All right. Uh. Da, 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 da. Um, I guess I'm going to dagger him. Dagger him. All right, dagger. Wah. Dagger. You and pierce the armor. Sub. A stab. Oh, my oh! God. Stabby stab. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that stabby stab brings him within an inch of his manufacturing expiration date. Ha. And, yeah, that's that's all that's all I can do. Very, finish very close. Off. Lyra, finish him off. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I would like to try and bite him. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh, <laughs> bite? It's, uh, well, I have I have the action to bite and claw. It doesn't look like I have any sort of, like, flurry attack, so I think I have to pick one of those things. So it's all a right. plus four to hit, and on a hit it does 1d6 plus two piercing damage. I don't think it'll just let me roll that, so I'm just going to, like, slash R. Okay, uh, yeah. That's okay. Okay. Oh, yep, that'll hit. And let's nice. see the damage. Nice. Okay, 1d6 plus 2. I just realized I missed the opportunity to say fly, you fools. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'll be enough as you crush Yay! down on the fairly, like, rusted and old metal, actually, and rip it to shreds. And that Ugh. is going to be the end of combat. Uh, and... Wait. Buck and Word falling down into the cavern below, which is completely pitch black to the point where not even your dark vision can help. 
What? The only amount what of... What is dark vision for? Yes. The only amount of dim light that you see, word, is the little soul crystal. But the glow seems faint and weak, and there are cracks all over the surface. Maybe you can tell just like as, so, as uh, soul crystals are common enough in the world, maybe this crystal was powerful once before, but not anymore. Well, shoot. But mm, Buck... He thinks as he falls. As you... <laughs> Yes, the fall is actually not that far. It is about okay, good. <laughs> it's about thirty feet. So I'm gonna roll the damage that you take. Ooh, uh, but you're cradled inside the comforting uh, sharp metal carapace of this thing. <laughs> and then a giant bugbear lands on top of it. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, word, you're Wait, going to. Wait, if it's to... thirty feet, can't he literally just like get down like he's getting off the roof of a building? Hmm. Like Buck, hmm. like he, his arms are that long. They're 15 feet long, so he'll only have like a five foot drop or something. What if Buck, Buck, are, would you like to try and catch or pull word out <laughs> of the metal chassis of the? I would the love Warfort. to try it, my friend. I would love to give it a shot. So I'm have... gonna need a reach halfway down sleight of hand check from you. Mm. Okay. Uh, why won't it let me? Where's my? I just realized that Giant Buck is literally the Beast Titan. <laughs> <laughs> like with his reach too. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there I go. Falling and falling, and you try and reach into the open chest of the Warforge, unable to find your bearings to get Buck, and combined with both of you falling, word you're going to take fifteen damage. Okay. And Buck, That's... <coughs> you, since you are bigger, I'm going to reduce the amount of damage you take since the fall is not as far for you, like, proportionally. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. You are also going to take 15 because I rolled high. <laughs> now, do, now, this is bludgeoning damage, Oh, wait, I assume, then it's going to be I reduced. Think... Yeah, you're going to take seven. Okay. okay. So, oh, blessings. the metal construct... Crum uh, just clangs and echoes throughout this pitch black nothing that you are now in, and it echoes upwards in Lair of Fritz. You can hear it as well, this massive hunk of metal, just loud gong like a bell. Mm. Uh, where, where are, are, you, are you? Are you still in the shape form? Uh, yeah, I'm still a panther. A, a panther with five hit points left, baby. I'm I'm inside this this thing, uh, and I like wrench myself out. Oh shoot! Well, I got stabbed. Uh, I, okay. have, I uh. think I have a torch in here, but it's too tiny. <laughs> uh, I, 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 <laughs> hold on, I got you covered, and I pull out my hooded lantern. Mm. Oh. Hooded lantern. Okay. Oh, and I just bought a stupid amount of oil. <laughs> Oh, I think my rage is probably going to end, assuming that we're not fighting anybody. or yeah. we're not in, I don't know if we're in combat still. <laughs> Kicking the giant robot every six seconds to keep the rage going. In addition, <laughs> Buck and Word, as soon as you do hit the, uh, the bottom of this hole, uh, I'm going to need both of you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. I don't like doing those. I get... Oh, oh no! It was nice knowing you. Okay. The horrible stench of death and decay fills Ooh. your lungs. Though the caverns above could still perhaps hold some, hold some semblance of life, this strange new pathway, whatever it is, it's doubtful anything could survive down here. The stench is so strong and musty that you both now have the poison status for an hour. Uh, I oh, definitely am, am throwing up all the cave fish that I ate. <laughs> Like just well, I'm doing the same. Yeah. I'm doing the same, but it doesn't. It's not as much because I'm bigger. Okay. So okay. <laughs> I picked now, the wrong animal to be. <laughs> One of my only two things is keen smell. Word. Oh. <laughs> when you light your hooded lantern, the cavern we blow up. you notice is just as visually challenging, as no mm. light peeks through the lantern when you light it. Oh. You can feel the heat of the fire coming through, but it's still completely dark. Cast magic missile at the darkness. Nothing illuminates mm. this cave. All right. I, I uh, put out the lantern and dump the oil back into the, the flask. 
So, um, uh, I, I, I'm going to hold up the little heart. Does it glow like... A, does it have a wider radius than anything else? No. You can see that it's a dim glow, a, a magical glow, that does seem to permit a little bit mm. of light, but not enough to really guide you anywhere. It's like Ooh. one of those Terraria items where it looks like light is on it, but nothing around yep. it. Yeah, like yeah, like the spark, okay. sparkling like uh, ore like from a distance in Terraria. Okay. I have uh, a good idea. Yeah, Leira and I Fritz, have... your companions just fell down this deep hole. Are you going to uh, do anything about yeah. that? You... We should probably go do wanna, look. Um, do you want me to fly you down? Well, okay, actually, DM, I have one question. Um, so when you you gave me a list a while back of the various animals that you said I could wild shape into, uh, I read the fine print of wild shape more clearly, and I'm not supposed to turn into anything with a flight speed until, like, level 8 or something. Oh. Um, eh. It's up to you. Okay, cool. Because if that's okay, I can be a giant bat, which has blind sight 60 feet. Uh, which I think might be very useful for navigating down there, but I wanted to mm. I wanted to see if that was actually okay yes. before I planned Rule on that. Rule of cool. I don't care that the rules say you can't turn into a flying thing until later. I think that's thanks. Deep. So awesome. okay. yes, blind sight. Yeah, let's let's go up to the. Uh, well, I th I assume I'm gonna hold off on that until I diegetically learn that okay. it's super dark in there because yeah, I yeah. have dark vision, so I'll be able to see that I can't see down. Yeah, you see down there, and it is pitch black, just as uh, Word and Buck, who both have. Uh, I presume dark vision as well aren't unable to see. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not just going to drop down a giant hole without knowing how deep it is, so I'm going to use my second wild shape for the short rest to shift into giant bat form. Mm. And now I have blind sight to 60 feet. Yes. Wait. Can can you can you sit on my shoulder cuz <coughs> it's if it's dark down there, I'm not going to be able to see. As a giant bat, I think you could sit on my shoulder. It says I'm oh, large. <laughs> I'm going to get piggybacked for once. <laughs> All right, so since uh, you have some semblance of the area around you now, we're going to move to the second map. Ooh. Mm. You can see the, the now broken down <laughs> and completely destroyed cadaver collector, and I'll put you guys, you guys aren't dead. Stop, stop, <laughs> Josh. Quit being so dramatic. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Logan do it, so I did it. And you can see that there's a bunch of debris around from the fallen and broken down uh, area, Leira, like, is the only one that can seemingly tell kind of this terrain around her since she's got blind vision, you know, echolocation yes. from being a giant bat. Buck, yes. I, I, I think we're in Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so That's much. a play I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making things cannon burgers in this universe. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, the oh, horrible oh, oh, stench of death and decay fills Lara and Fritz's lungs as well. You're both going to need to make constitution saving throws. Ah! All right. Uh, <laughs> do I use my bat constitution or my constitution? I presume the bat constitution. Mm. Fritz, All right, that's just going to be you, a flat plus zero. You are now poisoned as well. Hold on. Yeah, but you're also filled with determination. Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone <laughs> is poisoned. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Everyone oh, is poisoned. <laughs> so... Oh, if you don't know, Everyone a poison, poison creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. This is disgusting. Not skills, okay. but ability checks. Lyra, can you can you uh, stand by me? I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Um. Guide me, <laughs> giant bat. Oh god, there's a giant bat in here. <laughs> Wait. I'm assuming you communicated that what your plan was before you did this. Um, I don't know if I would, but I think Fritz no, can no. communicate what the plan is. I'm Fritz is gonna <laughs> kill the giant bat. Question. No, Answer. Fritz is riding on me. Uh, this is, we've already been poisoned, and I realize this is silly, but I'm just curious. Would I be able to use Gust of Wind to kind of like cut through the stench? I think this place is probably just more stinky. Or is it too much? I would is it say that it's bad? too much. It's permeate. Okay. It's like too stinky. It, like th this is the equivalent of like a bottle that hasn't been opened in ages. Like if you were inside that bottle. Okay, I was just wondering. Mm. <laughs> so I can't use like press the digitation to fluff up my nose. <laughs> you can fluff up your nose. Mm -hmm. uh, but the poison I'll status do. is going to stay for the hour. All right, great. You, you'll just it'll just smell nicer. Good. <laughs> well, are we? But if you couldn't tell, basically, the darkness you see here, 
you are familiar enough with magic in this world, this is magical mm -hmm. darkness, the spell darkness. Let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Bolt <laughs> into the wall. And you feeling gonk, kind of I'm all feeling around. Feeling my way around. <laughs> feeling your Left way hand around. Rule. Okay. Smart. I feel. I feel if around. I'm large us. right now. How do we? How can, sure? how can you tell where I'm going? I can tell where you're going. You can't. Word, well, then why oh, am I'm bigger I now. This? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> now we're all big. All right, I'm gonna scooch up here. Fritz, uh, I assume where are Fritz you? is still on my shoulder. <laughs> Follow my sultry voice. Okay, so uh, Lyra, being able to surmise the area of the situation that you're in, is able to Roughly. glean the actual path forward. And I bumped into something fuzzy here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a large. As issue. you are guided by Lyra, it's not me. you are able to move outside of the area of this magical darkness. And oh you my. see this. Oh, good. Oh, oh no. boy. Oh, what boy. What are those? What oh, are those? Boy, <laughs> you that's follow no the walls, finding more rocks and debris, but oddly enough, no signs of bodies, no bones, no decaying flesh, nothing. And you find a few structures, stone and tiled walls lost to time, weathered by time, looking like they could crumble at the slightest hard shove. Mm. And you also see, kind of just in the distance, standing amidst this all, floating translucent figures. I don't trust like that. Buck, do you know what I'm, I'm secretly horrified of? What's that? I'm thinking this is like kind of a narrow passage, and I'm afraid that like actually on the other side of this wall there's a huge open space that I just can't see that goes on forever. <laughs> Word, I don't know if I have the time for this. I'm very sick and very large. I would say after after you pass this area, the uh, the magical darkness is no more. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> 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 it's such a niche fear. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, I still, I still have blindsight until I get knocked out of this form, which. I don't think, uh, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fight very good. <laughs> yes, it's it's. Yeah. Oh, I also, bad, so. actually, one thing I forgot. Word, um, when you were rummaging through. Um, you and like there were pieces and of like bodies and stuff in the uh, the Warforge as well, and you snagged what seemed to be a piece of paper. Oh! And oh. once you exit out, uh, kind of like in the area where you can see, uh, you can see that the piece of paper. Da -da 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 -da, blah, 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 blah. has two things on it. Oh. Firstly, okay. it seems to be a scroll of some kind. It seems to have ground bits of granite sprinkled onto it. And it's written, uh, on it is written in incantation of wall of stone. It's not usable anymore. This piece of paper has been shredded to pieces. Huh. And the crystal that you found was also amongst a few pieces of debris. Uh, inside of the Warforged. Okay, yeah, I, I think just because we went on break, I probably would have rummaged around to grab a couple things, including my dagger before I Yeah, you right. are a rogue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Can I'll I add that mention back. the gruesome thing I thought might have happened when we were uh, down please, there? Please, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, so I thought those were the bodies of the dead adventurers. I think so, too. Yeah. Wait, where? On oh, the, the body's the on the guy? That, yeah. Oh, I assumed that, yeah. Mm. So we're That's not gonna... That's why I suddenly just went, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to, uh, I don't know, blind sight, echolocate, get some sense of like what's in this enclosure. Uh, yeah, uh, right, real quick, just uh, giving word, you know, what he found in mm. the uh, war. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you found that, and you also found a few pieces of debris including one that seems to have a symbol kind of in the Warforge when you are rummaging around. And it looks like this. Huh. A piece of scrap. It's like a little... little dragon-y. Have dragon you seen that symbol? And... Oh, it's an eye. Could you, be. Sideways. It's, you actually... This symbol you actually recognize. This symbol on these Ooh. panels. 
of the scrap. Word. I recognize you it. recognize it because it's on the wand that you stole from the lizard foe from Strevacetta, Lucia Bastan <gasps> of the military defense company, House Bastan. You can what? see it here. Huh. Whoa. Also, that is how her uh, wand looks because you cool. stole it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I have the wand. You do have, well, you stole it from her, remember? Uh, apparently it's not in my inventory. This does one. sound like something you would do, though. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I just take stuff. I don't really keep track. Yeah, I've track. got, like, a fancy feathered hat written in here, but not a... <laughs> a was it a specific wand? Maybe? Uh, <laughs> I remember you uh, stole something from her. Oh, no, I stole the eyelash in amber. I think you also... A, well, yeah. I think after we defeated her, we took her wand, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, to stop her from. But you oh, pickpocketed yeah, to... the eyelash and amber off of her for the spell. I yeah, think we, we disarmed. We disarmed her when we, um, uh, like, went. To, we were trying to determine whether or not we were going to interrogate her or not, and like we had to disarm her before we took her back. Mm -hmm. Right. So maybe I remember her correctly then. <laughs> like, yeah. But I, I think, think at this point we it. have we, to. You did, we, I, I this think makes you sense that it. we would have taken it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll put that down. But uh, a metal panel with the sigil of the House of Defense. What was her family name again? Uh, Lucia Baztan. B-A-Z-T-A-N. Okay. And then a wand of the same. Yep. Sorry okay. if I remembered incorrectly. That's all right. Sorry, completely Somebody took uh, the wand retconned. off of mm -hmm. her. I do remember that, I'm pretty not, sure. If it's not in anybody else's inventory. I think it it's actually might have been mine. Lyra disarming them. Let me see. I might have it. I don't know if I, you might have added it because you just didn't think. You know, like mm. we were just like disarming take and then we didn't give it back. So it was like an accidental steal. I think I that could very well be you. true. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I remember something like that. Otherwise, Yeah. I don't know. But yes, the, the little piece of scrap and panel has the same symbol as on the wand. Hmm. Uh, I definitely bring that to the attention of the party when I realize, assuming that I have the wand, I, I imagine I haven't used it yet, but maybe I can attune it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that thing, I guess, comes from her family, or was made by her family. Very old family, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I'm a giant bat. <laughs> well, maybe they're so good at making stuff like this that they made all the fake dead bodies look really old. But yes, Lyra, you want to look through that building then? I would like to take a peek, yes. So you look take inside, again, and it is Make looking chirp noise. decrepit. You can see inside, inside the abandoned structure, you find what looks to be the vaguest kind of living quarters. Bed frames, old crates and furniture, uh, wooden huh. material decayed and rotten, all the cloth that would be there completely, nearly completely decomposed, and shelves empty whatever uh, books you can find in them, pages either blank as their ink is faded or pages missing. And aside from them, roots. Roots everywhere. Roots? You can see that they are just sticking out of the ground. All right, let's see. Could I make some sort of nature check to see if these are roots of the life tree or roots of something else? Uh. You can give me your nature. Actually, what's your nature score? My nature is plus four. Plus four. That's enough to just know that. Really? Let's see. Do, 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 do. The roots. Inspecting the roots. They seem a very old. Uh, they seem very old and must have died a long time ago. They've had no water, no nutrients. Uh, the dirt around mm. them seems completely barren of anything resembling fertile soil. Uh, and noting this, you also see that nothing is growing here. No fungi. No weeds. No moss. Nothing. All life seems to be abandoned in this place. Hmm. And from your studies understanding the, the roots of the life tree, these do bear a very striking resemblance, albeit dead. Perhaps the fate the life tree if uh, the fate of the life tree if the pilgrimage were to fail and the dragon heart's not delivered. I see. Alright, I'm gonna migrate over to the far right building and take the same peek. Take the same peek again, and inside you see another root, another living quarters of some kind, and the translucent figure, some sort of Whoa. spirit of some kind inside. You know what these are. They're ghosts. 
They're floating translucent figures. They're manifestations of strong desire or, or emotion left over at the final moments of someone's life. Though the soul has departed, these are the slightest of the body that remains. Oh. Okay. I didn't realize they weren't the soul. I guess that most of the soul list, moves on. Um, yeah. If it's not immediately hostile, I'm not going to try and pick a fight. I'm no, not really yeah. equipped for fighting ghosts today. <laughs> it seems to just be floating there. Guys, okay. this is kind of scary. <laughs> I'm wondering if we should leave, but I feel like... Can you, like, talk to them? I, am cur- I, I currently can't talk to you guys. <laughs> Fritz, say something. I've never hello? actually seen one of these things face to face. You say hello to the ghost? Oh, the, the Buck was saying say something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Fritz, you, you say something. To I them? Like you. <laughs> to the ghost, yeah. Uh, I can't fit in the door. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, can I? I can't see where I'm going, can I? Or can I see No, you them? can. The darkness was only yeah. for that first section. Okay, uh, oh. um. I guess I'll go talk to ghosts. Yeah, you can uh, see on that side of the building, like, the wall has been completely annihilated and, like... I'm gonna, like, peer around the corner and look at it for a second, see if it notices me. It doesn't seem to have any interest in you, even when you go within its field of view. It's just floating there, staring off into the middle distance. Um, I'm gonna take a bit of a step closer. Uh, he- hello? No Get response close. still. I'm going to advise against provoking the ghost yeah. <laughs> with whatever body language I can signal as a giant it's, it's not. It's not responding. Um, hmm. mm, mm. All right. Uh, maybe can we I maybe take a closer that. look at it, like step closer and you see can. if there's anything I can And I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay, so you hear a voice when you get close, clear as if it were speaking to you, but not audibly, like it's in your mind, but as if it's speaking to your soul as well, in a language you don't recognize and yet are able to fully understand. And it sounds like it's saying, we're doomed, we're doomed, they've come, and we're doomed. And the ghost, fades and the essence kind of shocks you for a bit and you are going to take three psychic damage and the ghost vanishes. Okay. Uh, well, how do I calculate psychic damage? Is it normal? It's just, damage? It's just three damage. damage. Unless three you resist damage. it, it doesn't matter what type it is. Yeah. I'm just uh, well, the flavor of what type of damage. It's it like fire or It's like you, know, you, you took damage to the mind. All right. Fritz well, did. rip to that guy, but crazy? we're different. <laughs> Fritz, did you kill that thing? No, it was already dead. Yeah, but it's like gone now. Like it's gone. Not... How am I supposed to kill? Right. What did you do? <laughs> Said hello. I'd like to take a look in uh, this lefty building over here. All right. Looking in that building, you can see kind of another, what looks to be more of like a storage place rather than some some place residential, but crates mm. completely open, the wood decayed, they're empty. Whatever loot that okay. was once there is gone long gone somebody was bold enough to loot this place that's pretty impressive dust and echoes all right let's try the last building and uh and that one inside you you see another residential kind of building with another ghost inside Mm. can i just I'll, i'll i'll just nudge down this part of the wall and just uh, yeah, reach you the ghost. Yeah, can easily push it down. Like <laughs> this, trying to scooch in. This rock is like, this stony building is nothing. You can effortlessly push over and it crumbles and a bit of the ceiling crumbles too, but it doesn't even hurt you. This thing well, is decrepit. Okay. And you go near uh, the ghost. I will go near the ghost. And the same thing as Fritz. You hear the ghost in your soul in a language you don't recognize but are still somehow able to understand. Protect the Prabath. If he is lost, all is lost. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Gladly. Protect the what? The Prabath. Prabath, okay. 
Okay, with a 15, you're able to stave off whatever shock this ghost may have. Nice. And it vanishes. All right, I want to collect all these bits of information. <laughs> Let's go poke some ghosts. <laughs> Can we see more of the, as we move down, can we see any more of the map? You do, yes. I will reveal some more of the map. Uh, Boop. Oh. And it seems to be a large residential area of some kind. There is a round uh, kind of central area, something akin to a square of a town, and a statue now completely ruined in shambles, nothing but debris, and large, massive roots in the distance. Once again, akin to the life tree, but dead. I would like to beeline for the building that appears to be surrounded by massive roots. <laughs> mm, beeline towards the building. Anybody else doing anything? Yeah, I Can want I? to talk to... I guess that'll put me through yeah, that I, ghost, I, so I'll take that ghost along the way. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna try and check it. out this one. Yeah, can I? I because everyone's getting to talk to ghosts. Yeah. All right. Word. <laughs> we'll go with word first. Word. Make me a wisdom okay. save. Oh snap! Okay. <laughs> I just approach it and. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Okay, break. you're oh. able to stave off the psychic shock as the ghost shouts in a language you don't recognize. Traitors! 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 They're all traitors! And the ghost vanishes. The ghost said you guys was traitors. <laughs> huh. He didn't tell me anything interesting. Buck, you gonna go next to that one? Yeah, let me make a little wisdom. Make me a wisdom. Okay. Oh, uh-huh. baby. The shock and terror of this ghost Oof. seeps into ah. you. You're going to take six psychic damage. And this one. Okay. Where are you? Please, say something, anything. I can't find you. I can't see. This one vanishes. Can I look in this house? You look inside that house and you can see more roots, more bedding, another residential building of some kind. Gotcha. Fritz, did you want to do something? I want to look inside this house. Look inside that house, okay. And see inside, there's another residential building. And, you know, old. It seems as though this was some kind of place that had a lot of residential housing of some kind. Underground? Whatever residents are long gone. There's, there's nothing of like pottery or decor, just. There like are. There are a few like pottery and just odd furniture here and there. Nothing of value, it seems. Anything. It must have been here a few decades, maybe a century. It's hard to tell, really. Hmm. Okay. All very wondering? old. Maybe worth uh, something at an antique shop, but if you can even mm. get it out here in one piece. I was more looking for just symbols and stuff. Symbols. Okay. Yes. If you look around, you can give me an investigation check. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I'm just kind of like getting any gleam of anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, investigating. This is architecture that you've somewhat recognize in history books, actually. Somewhere. Mm-hmm. Can't quite tell where. If you want, you can give me a history check to see where you might have recognized uh, it. But you know that this is old architecture. My education or is. <laughs> uh, ooh. Did I pay attention in school? No. Nope. But you Dozen know was that doing his best, this but. is something you've seen before in a history book. Maybe if you went into some of the archives or libraries and around Alinthi, you could probably find out what they were. And Leira, you're going to go to that large building. I'm going to the conspicuous building with the roots. Okay, you see it, and there's a big hole. An even bigger hole! This is awesome! And several ghosts standing around it. Great, let's collect some ghosts. (laughs) Yeah, I want to pop them like bubbles. (laughs) All right, let's get this one first. Okay. Evening, ma'am, or sir. All right. Uh, Actually, I'll save you all of these. Uh, Like, every single one, you can hear them actually, like, Echoing, bouncing off of each other. Uh-huh. And they, all of them saying, protect the Prabath. Protect the Prabath. Protect the Prabath. Is the Prabath down the hole? <laughs> is the is the Prabath in the room with us right now? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, will you permit me what 60 feet of blind sight down this hole gives me? <laughs> 60 feet of blind sight down this hole gives you the characteristic of a large kind of interior if you weren't uh, 
giant sized. Yeah, if you if, if you weren't so sure, you you would mistaken this for something laid out like a throne room, with a large chair like shape towards the end, some pillars holding up what would have been the ceiling, and you s feel. Uh, from your blind sight and your echolocation that there are quite a few more roots down there as well. I see. And some kind of slowly moving liquid. Ooh. Mm. I don't like that. So I've had some experience with plant shaping in my day. I'm kind of getting the vibe that all of these roots didn't just grow naturally through this ruined space. That's that's my suspecting, but is that is that what I'm coming to the conclusion of here? I would say that can have a nature check to it. Okay. Gladly. Mm. Uh, you can discern that it is somewhat magical in nature that maybe someone may have done some kind of arcanery involving this. What you can't quite put your finger on it, but these are definitely not plants that grow by themselves. All right. So the vibe I'm getting is this place was attacked by somebody controlling the roots. By traitors. And something killed this place very, very dead. Uh, I'm going to go to the last building okay. before I inevitably go check out what's down the hall. <laughs> All right. The last building seems to be, yet again, just another house of some kind. Okay. And another root sticking out. I want to talk to this one. Yeah, you want to talk to that ghost? Give me yeah. a wisdom save. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. You are completely <laughs> fine, and you hear the voice. There isn't much time. This must work, for Elinthi must pay. Damn this yeah. curse. Damn the horrific minds what designed it. All eternity, I curse you, Alinthi. I curse you! Hmm. Huh. That guy Guys, sounded I found important. The, I found the real dirty bubble. Uh, so there was a guy back over behind that house, and he basically said that either him or, like, everybody here didn't like Alinthi, and they were trying to do something real stinky. Sorry, did they say, like, I heard something about a curse, but I was distracted. He Sorry. basically yeah, they... said curse you, Alinthi. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to gesture oh, at the big oh. hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to go down the hole? Mm -hmm. I don't know how we plan to get back up out of this one. <laughs> I'm going to move my wings. <laughs> did, did you know that I, I have a rope? I am enormous. And there's, there's like a root, like right here. Look at me tying the rope to the root. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, the you rope are able fell to down the hole. <laughs> tie the rope to the I root. I am a giant. <laughs> That's not my problem. I guess the rest of us could willingly choose to stop being giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not much. I fun. have to wait uh, a number of hours. How for many hours do I have to wait? Three? three? It was, it was, for for simplicity's sake, though, three? Buck, I would say you can just squeeze into the hole. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if you make, you I'll know, if you it. suck in a little bit. Yeah, I'll I'll be suck giant in. out of solidarity for Buck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thank I, you. I really hope. So Player's the only team player here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that this isn't just you now. I was, <laughs> I was so useful to like me. So when I was like words it. mech, I was useful to him, and now he's now now my bigness is is <laughs> an inconvenience to, to him. You go, yeah. I've been watching <laughs> a lot of fair. Gundam, so this is very on brand. It's more about the horrors of war <laughs> than the cool giant thingy. <laughs> not not in this game. In this game, it's about the cool giant thingy. <laughs> so you guys going down the hole then? Uh, yeah. Yes. Can I, I try to take a piece of the root? You most certainly can. It comes off fairly easily. You don't even have to like take a dagger to carve it off. Just with enough strength and squeeze, you're able to just break off okay, a chunk. I'm gonna like try to put it in my like bag. Okay, you can add Careful, it's weird. decrepit root Sorry. to your inventory. Mm -hmm. 
So Word climbs down, Fritz, I presume, glides down, as does Lyra. Buck mm-hmm. just kind of like, I don't know, uh, like Emperor's new groove shimmy his way down with back Love against it. the wall, legs against the other yeah. side. <laughs> and as you head down, you see... Mm. Oh, God. Oh, we have... Oh, we're all poisoned. <laughs> Come on. Mm-hmm. And you drop oh, down, and you I can I don't have see, any more... You find more ghosts. They mutter in your mind, protect the Prabath, protect the Prabath. And on the floor, a massive, just a kind of sigil of some kind. Uh, the room is large and expansive. And now uh, caved in entrances on kind of on the sides, wherever they lead. They've been covered by debris by now. And among all those roots around you, black ooze-like creatures Mm. that seem to sit, and as you appear, they converge on you slowly. Mm. It's the blot. I want that ghost on the throne. I think he's important. (laughs) They all slowly approach you. They must absorb that ghost. All right, let's get ready to fight some blot, I guess. (laughs) I'm gonna be sick. Oh, wait. They all stay at at a little bit of a distance, kind of defensively around you. Not not enough from me. (laughs) You can see, well, not from you, of course. They don't know, though. But um, they don't know. Just waiting for any sudden movements. Lara, I think you should know my my back is bleeding from like three different puncture wounds. (laughs) Uh, I'm sure it's very comfortable being an owl. Are they? Are they Giant actively bat. coming towards oh. our direction, or...? Slowly, yes. You get a stern nod from the giant bat. Um, yeah, all right. All right. Uh, I can't... I'm, I'm going to stay uh, right here as, as Buckwood <laughs> to stay safe. I don't know that there's much I can do, but we, we can attack, don't really have a lot of can do. options. Okay, do we want to try leaving is the thing, because we might just be able to do that. I could plant one of my beans. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to, like, what? gesture back up the hole the way we came and, like, flap significantly. Do we want to just try leaving? <laughs> but look at that guy. That guy does look important. I don't know what it is we stand to gain from being down here. Fritz, go, go have a brief little brain conversation with that guy. Like, fly over uh, the blows. Uh... Hmm. I think that's a bad idea. That's... I also think that's a bad idea. But can you reach the ceiling? Can you carry us to safety? I can uh... get up. I mean, we can try and run, but there's a lot of them. You're putting a lot of this there's on my back, and I don't really know what to do. Uh... Uh, I will flap over to the ghost on the throne. Okay. <laughs> You're going to flap over to the ghost on the throne, and we're going to immediately start to roll initiative. As the, I'm sorry, guys. Blot, I have 13 uh... extra hit points as a bat right now. The blot... <laughs> notices the quick movement and immediately starts to dart towards Lyra heading towards the throne. Yes, I'm not affiliated with those guys. I'm just an ordinary giant bat. So, Lyra, you fly over yes. to that ghost, and I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw yet again. Gladly. Okay. Yeah. So, you take a shock to your mind, and you are going to actually take eight psychic damage. Still a bat. Still Just a bat. A bat with five hit points. Still a bat, baby. <laughs> and you oh, yeah. hear this voice. I shall not rest. My people will have vengeance. Alinthi will fall. What? And you actually see a vision of the life tree. Uh-oh. And once the ghost vanishes, sitting on the throne, you can see a very dim glimmer of some small little pieces something that looks a little bit familiar, you see shards of dragon scales. Oh. Huh? The huh. old dragon. And we are going to end the session there. What? what? Oh, boy. Like a missing... A doozy. Yikes. Well, that's exciting. Uh, hmm. We it's will find brain. out what further plot developments that means in the next session. I shouldn't laugh at the... Mm. <laughs>